The Eastern Panhandle Home Builders Association would like to thank Pine Creek Structures for being a diamond sponsor and City National Bank, Eastern Panhandle Heating and Cooling, DRB Homes, High Point Roofing, and Aspen Home Improvements for being platinum sponsors of the 26th Annual Home Show. The Home Show this year will take place March 25th and 26th at the Martinsburg Roundhouse. For more information, visit www.easternwvhomebuilders.org. We hope to see you there. With four new car dealerships and four used car dealerships in three states, Parsons is the largest used car and fastest growing new car dealer in the tri-state area. Take Parsons Ford with huge savings on hundreds of new Fords, financing from 0%, Parsons' goal of financing for all, and Parsons' famous above-market trade-in allowances that help make Parsons number one for used cars, too. See why so many won't buy anywhere but Parsons Ford in Martinsburg. We became number one by making you number one first. Parsons. The Eastern Panhandle Home Builders Association would like to thank Smoots, Petty Pest Control, Sleepy Creek Sun Rooms, H&H &H Well Drilling, The Hornby Media Group, Made in the Shade, Panhandle Homes, W. Harley Miller Systems, Modern Renovations, Negley's Clean Water, Rankin Remodeling, Nicely Pools LLC, and the Eastern Panhandle Board of Realtors for being gold sponsors and Bristol Springs Custom Homes, Modern Realty Results, Advanced Concrete Systems, Leaf Filter Gutter Protection, Milestone Solar, Cumberland Valley, and ABC Supply Company for being silver sponsors of the 26th Annual Home Show. It's time for the 26th Annual Martinsburg Home Show, brought to you by the Eastern Panhandle Home Builders Association. This is the area's largest home-related event with over 100 vendors. Let's go live to the Martinsburg Roundhouse at 100 East Liberty Street in historic downtown Martinsburg to join our broadcast team. Hey everybody, welcome back to the 26th Annual Home Show here in Martinsburg at the Roundhouse. I'm John Gilstrap. I am here with Mary Beth Blair. We're the second team, the afternoon team, to do live coverage of the, uh, of the show here. Uh, this is my first time at the show and it's my first time at the Roundhouse. This is something. It is, it is. So, John, you're a newbie, but you'll fit right in. You'll pick right up because you like this environment. You love history. You're fascinated by what you're sitting in the middle of right and now, I'm right? fascinated by trains right you know it's it, I heard Rob talking earlier you know if you're if, if you're a kid you love trains and right. um, I used to go back when I was in the fire department as an EMT I would travel it used to be the old steam trains Got that would run from okay. Alexandria out to the middle of nowhere in Virginia and people would take pictures and my job as EMT riding for free was to dig cinders out of people's oh, wow. eyes it was it was a lot of fun so this is a this is a, just a tremendous facility and a great day it is and so two years ago uh, the Eastern Panhandle Home Builders Association moved to this location and it was a little chilly last year and today the weather is improving by the second. The rain is gone. If you're wondering, it's just a little wet down here. But other than that, it's bustling with people and the sun is making its way. You, If you can at all make time to come out to the Martinsburg Roundhouse in downtown Martinsburg, 100 East Liberty Street, you should do it. And there are 100, I think I heard earlier, over 140 actual right. exhibitors. I heard it was sold out. I was it heard that they can't out. they can't bring yes. more people in. No room for anyone else, but just all kinds of things from real estate, banking, um, home improvement, even a lot of community organizations have tables and with information. It just it's a great uh, spot to learn a lot about different businesses in our community. So and it's it's very well attended so far, wouldn't you say? I would say it's very well attended. And I'll tell you, as a guy who lives in the woods, um, <laughs> and one of the reasons that I don't come into town, uh -huh. I, I hesitate to come into town for things like this, is a fear of no parking. Yes. And uh, parking True. is abundant. And True. it's free. And yes. it's everywhere. Free so. parking. And as I mentioned earlier, it, you even it, with a twist, if you park in one of the city parking lots that are free, obviously, um, the, the Eastern Panhandle Transit Authority has their trolley running around. To, uh, it's running. It's not running around, but it's <laughs> running. And it's going to all the lots uh, continuously from 11 to 3 both today and tomorrow. So you can even ride the trolley from one of those lots down here and I I chose to park over on the the Caperton uh, train station side of the roundhouse I got to walk across the footbridge which is it's, did you do that I did that it's it's a neat little nostalgic thing and I enjoy that and lots of people were doing that as well 
Um, so something you might not ever do otherwise. I mean, how many times are you going to walk the footbridge to go to the roundhouse? There so. you go. And there's plenty of, well, we're going to be talking about food here a little yes. bit later, but I'm telling you, walking. I got here early and, and just walking around here. If you can't gain four pounds just by eating <laughs> the giveaways, right. you're not trying. Right. That, and you can also stop by there. Four food trucks outside. Um, we have... I, we're, we'll get into that here in a minute because we have one we're going to bring on. So we'll feature them here in a minute. But there are four food trucks, so you can actually have a meal here. So so why not? It's, yeah, it's, and some of the other things that you might be interested if you pop down here to the Roundhouse, again, today 10 to 6 and tomorrow, Sunday, uh, 10 to 4. There is a room um, that has all silent auction items, and there are some great opportunities to get in to that act, get in on that action and try to get a bid in, try to win a trip, try to win appliances, all kinds of neat silent auction items. So definitely check that out. Make sure you go to all of the indoor and there's several outdoor exhibitors. So did you make your way around to any? I haven't been. When I got here, it was still kind of sloppy outside okay. and chilly oh, yeah. and wet, and mm-hmm. I, I didn't want to go walking around. Yeah. But afterwards, and actually, I'll be coming back again tomorrow with my wife, and, and we'll actually oh, tour around and talk yeah. to stuff. It's interesting having just built a house here. Okay. And moved in a year ago. Actually, the day of the last home show is the, the day wow. I moved in. Um, well, no wonder you didn't come down to the <laughs> yeah, I, had other, I had other things to yeah. do. But it's, it's interesting to see a number of, of the vendors and, and professional folks that, that I used to, to be here. So and, you, and to, that you and actually to see them again. built your yeah. home. That's great. been very happy with the quality of stuff. I'll tell you what, let's, yeah. let's take a quick break. And let's when we come that. back, we will start talking with some of the vendors and more Sounds interesting great. people who are here. We'll be back. This is Eric at Hancock Chevrolet. Over the last decade, the way we buy things have evolved. Now, you get on your phone, click Want It, and it shows up at your front door. At Hancock Chevrolet, it is that easy. We've changed the car buying experience on the I-81 corridor forever. And with a return policy better than Walmart, there's absolutely no reason to buy a new or used car, truck, or SUV anywhere else. Just like Amazon, Hancock Chevrolet will deliver the vehicle to you, where you are, and on your time. And if you don't want it, return it. No questions asked. Why waste your time in a car dealership playing the dumb back and forth games? Besides, we hate it more than you do. I assure you, no dealership from Winchester, Virginia to Washington, D.C. will beat our price. No dealership from Cumberland to Baltimore, Maryland will beat our price. And no other dealership will allow you to return it if you don't want it. Hancock Chevrolet absolutely provides the best experience at the best price. Visit HancockChevy.com to schedule your VIP experience. Click on the vehicle you want, and your new ride will be delivered to you at no risk. See dealer for details. Hello, Glenn Mocker here, your local Comparion insurance agent. I wanted to take a moment to remind you that Chad Williams and I will be at the Eastern Panhandle Home Builders Association Home Show in Martinsburg on March 25th and 26th at the Martinsburg Roundhouse. Give me a call at 301-378-7639. Hey, Chad Williams here. Glenn and I want to make sure that everyone knows who the two most proactive personal lines insurance agents are in the four-state region. We not only offer the best possible insurance advice to cover you and your loved ones, but ensure you're saving money with the greatest rates from all our line of carriers. Uh, Give me a call at 301-378-7628. Join us for the 2023 Eastern Panhandle Home Builders Association 26th Annual Home Show, March the 25th and 26th at the Roundhouse in downtown Martinsburg, featuring over 110 exhibits and food trucks on the ground. Diamond sponsor Pine Creek Structures is giving away an outdoor patio set, and you can enter to win. This year's silent auction is sponsored by Snyder, Bailey & Associates. The 2023 Home Show is the place to see home builders, remodelers, banks and lenders, landscaping companies, heating and air conditioning contractors, and a whole host of other products for your home with over 110 exhibits. Platinum sponsors include... City National Bank, Eastern Panhandle Heating and Cooling, DRB Homes, High Point Roofing, and Aspen Home Improvements. Admission is free, so stop by the Martinsburg Roundhouse and get some information on your next home project at the 26th Annual Home Show, March the 25th and 26th. This year's gold sponsors include Modern Renovations, Negley's Clean Water, Nicely Pools, the Eastern Panhandle Board of Realtors, Rank and Remodeling, and the Hornby Media Group. Silver sponsors include Cumberland Valley, ABC Supply Company, and Modern Realty Results. For more information, visit ephomeshow.com show today sure so I am actually uh, I'm a board member for the Eastern Panhandle Home Builders Association as being a board member I'm also a member of the West Virginia Builders Association so I sit on the board uh, for the state as well but uh, my immediate position today is I'm the chairman of the planning committee that puts on the home show so just a small task right just a little task just a few extra hours in your day yeah Yeah. well thank you thank you very much Yeah, and so literally tell us, you literally start planning this show last year as soon as the show's over, don't you? Yeah, pretty much. As soon as we wrap up one, we usually have a a debriefing meeting, 
Um, and then from there, usually our committee starts to meet in either uh, July or August. Uh -huh. um, so pretty much over the summer. And then we start putting all the places, uh, pieces into play. Uh, so that way, uh, come March, we're yeah. ready to go. Tell us what you think as far as the success. We've only you've only been open a few hours, but you're already getting some feedback. You're going around talking to some of the exhibitors. Yeah. What is the feeling so far? Yeah, so far, even weather considering uh, yeah. with the rain and everything, we've had a really good turnout. Um, literally right before I walked over here to uh, talk to you all, uh -huh. uh, one of the exhibitors stopped me and he said that this is, uh, so far he said the most interaction with people. And he said he did three other home shows leading up to this one. And he said he's already talked to more people in the first three hours of our show. Um, in comparison to the whole wow. weekend of three other home shows. So, That's great. Really what do you think good. is the difference? Where do, you th where do you think the excitement comes from? Well, I, I think it's our area. Yeah. I think that, you know, we, we do have a very involved Home Builders Association. We get great exhibitors coming in, yeah. all different things relating to a home or home, home ownership. And uh, we have great public. I mean, yeah. the, the attendees really enjoy coming out to our show. Um, even if folks aren't necessarily here to talk to a builder or a contractor or something, they might be coming out just to see the roundhouse sure. itself and just the history involved with right. it and taking all that in. So I think that, that creates a big draw for us. Kind of a social gathering. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, and I think it is an opportunity. It's such, a, it's such an interesting facility, and it's, uh -huh. a, it's, it's, it's not a place you drag your kids to necessarily. Kids would want to come and see this if only to look at, at, at the architecture. Yeah, 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 absolutely. I agree. So let's talk about your other, your other job, the one that... Probably pays, pays more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one they they don't add zeros every year to this uh, yeah, to this position. Uh, no, but my uh, my full time job. I'm a mortgage loan originator with uh, Sierra Pacific Mortgage here uh -huh. in Martinsburg, and uh, I'm licensed in five states: so Pennsylvania, Maryland, West Virginia, Virginia, and even down into South Carolina. Uh -huh. yeah. What would you say? What's the uh, the climate like right now is this a good time to buy or how are you feeling what's going on out there the climate is constantly changing <laughs> we'll just put it that way that's true so, Look at your uh, watch. good yeah, answer yeah. right so it, the the real estate industry as a whole has changed a lot um just in the last the 12 to 18 months right. uh, especially in comparison to what we experienced over the last two to three years the last two or three years were kind of an anomaly uh -huh. it was crazy busy sure. we were working at an unbelievable pace um and it has slowed down has it? and um um, I would say right now, if anybody's interested in buying a house, yes, it's always a good time to buy a house. Right. Um, you know, people need to have a roof over their head. Right. Um, you know, with mortgage qualifications now, you know, yes, interest rates are a little bit higher. Uh, but if someone can still afford to buy a home, you know, that home might not be available in the future. So right. if you like the home and you can afford it, buy it now. Uh -huh. And then if rates do reduce in the future, you can always refinance at a later time. What would you say with your company that you represent, Sierra Pacific, what is something that you feel like, uh, what, what should the public know to that make, gives you an, a competitive edge? What, sure. what is it that you... Um, feel like you know you could offer someone that somebody sure. else might not be able to yeah so the biggest thing that I would say is you know my the types of loans that I offer are the exact same as any other mortgage lender in our area I mean we all kind of offer the same type product yeah um, what I think um, sets our company apart is our team atmosphere okay and you know we literally work as a team that's good. Um, you know anytime you're in some sort of a sales role those can sometimes be somewhat cutthroat oh yeah and and we're not like that that's you know nice. uh, one of my other co-workers is running around here Chris Hip you know he's a, a good like partner in crime with me literally like if I'm out of town or something uh -huh. like that somebody can call Chris he's going to get them taken care of okay. and then when I get back in town it's still going to be my my file my customer That's so, you know, he's not going to steal anything from me and same thing same thing for him if, 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 if the roles were reversed and I think our whole our whole group of all of our loan officers kind of work that same way yeah um, we have a, a great support system back at our office uh, marketing team I mean you name it yeah. all of those tools are in work place together, yeah. that that build that atmosphere and, and it works really, really well. So Are the 30-year yeah. fixed rates still hovering 7%, give or take? Yeah, give or take, yeah. Yeah, in some cases you might find something in the high sixes. Uh, I would say more times than not your low sevens to maybe mid sevens. You know, it's so interesting maybe. to hear people complain because we got used to 2 and 3% loans, right? Right, right. I, my wife and I bought our first house with a 13.75% yep. three-year <laughs> arm. Wow. Yeah. So, right. and we had to do special qualifications for that. So, do you find people are that, that are taking out loans now are sort of betting that they'll be able to refinance sometime in the future? Hope yes. That, that the rates will come down. Yeah, I, I think that's predominantly what we're seeing is that the, the folks that are buying right now recognize that 
it's all cyclical, yeah. and at some point they probably or most likely will come down. Um, you know, hopefully, you know, with our qualifications and things that we do, we make sure that they're able to afford that, even if it was for somewhat more long term. Uh, but we are definitely hoping that they do reduce. Are the home budget. equity loans becoming less popular as the rates go up? Uh, a, a little bit. I, I'm still having a lot of people contact me with interest in uh, doing a renovation project or something like yeah. that where they might need to take advantage of some equity. Uh, so I, I think to an extent they are slowing down, but I, they're still uh, still doing pretty well as well. So people who want to get in touch with you do that how? Yeah, so the easiest thing to do, would you, you can contact me on Facebook. So you can look me up on there, Colin Hitt, Mortgage Loan Originator, um, or um, either call me or text me on my cell phone at 304-582-4265, or our office number is 304-263-1000. And there's a special two-point discount if they call today, right? <laughs> uh, I wish I could offer that. That's <laughs> right. a little bit above my pay yeah, grade. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for coming. We yeah. really appreciate thanks, it. Thanks Colin. for having me on here. Go get us some more feedback. We want to hear yeah, some more yeah. things, hear, hear what's going on, maybe even what kind of giveaways. I know there's. Yeah. I know for sure there's a free roof. So we got to register for that. But there's a lot of really big things as well as little things. It yeah. all adds up. So if you want to come back later and give us an update, that'd be great. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. And just one more quick thing. Uh, Potomac Edison First Energy is oh, doing yes. a live wire demonstration at 2 o'clock. So that's just a little over. A little under an hour away from now. And they're looking uh, so for volunteers. Check that out. And yeah. Can you tell us just really, really quick? So someone, if they were thinking about coming out, what is that? I mean, what are they going to see to come out and see a live wire? I'll be honest. I haven't seen it okay. myself. Well, so I asked them if they had video of it. But uh, my understanding is it's a community outreach program to educate the public. And also they use it more for first responders to educate them on what they should or should not do if they come upon a scene and there's gotcha. live wires. Okay. So I'm, I'm anxious. I'm going to yes. be watching it myself here. You can come o'clock. back and report on that yeah, then. All right. Absolutely. Sounds good. All right. All right I think we're going to hit a break now. I think we're going to a break. We'll be back in a few after these. Appreciate it. The Honda HRV, CRV, Pilot, Passport, and Ridgeline. They all have one thing in common. They never back off from a challenge. Available with all-wheel drive, the Honda SUV lineup has the performance you can count on and the capability to amaze. It's no wonder Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com named Honda the 2022 best value brand. CMA's Honda of Winchester, 3985 Valley Pike. CMA, moving lives forward. Based on 2022 brand image awards from Kelly Blue Book, visit KBB.com for more information. Hi, this is Lauren from Orsini's right here in Martinsburg. Grilling is not just for the boys. We are a platinum Traeger dealer carrying the Pro Series all the way up to the Timberline Series. We have every flavor of wood pellets along with accessories, rubs, sauces, not just Traeger. We carry Utz, Meat Church, Lanes, and Dizzy Pig. We also carry a full line of Yeti products. Orsini's has everything to complete your backyard. Visit us at 360 Hack Wilson Way or at Orsini's.com. This is Melissa Nott, Regional Manager for City National Bank. We are bringing the heat to the home show with our sizzling hot financial solutions. Stop by our booth and fill up your cup with delicious coffee and let's talk about how we can perk up your personal finances. From savings accounts to personal and home equity loans, we've got the perfect blend of options to suit your needs. So come on down and let's caffeinate your financial future together with City National Bank. Cheerio for now. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. <laughs> yes. Wow, that was wordy. Hi, Kresha Hornby here. Larry DeMarco, broker of Modern Realty Results, believes he has some of the best real estate agents in the Eastern Panhandle. Agents at Modern Realty Results have years of experience and knowledge of the local real estate market. Agents within the office work as a team to provide quality customer service. We strive to always ensure client satisfaction through handling every transaction with honesty and integrity, all while offering competitive rates. Modern Realty Results is veteran-owned and managed. Please call us at 262-4222, modernrealtyresults.com. And welcome back to the home show, the 26th annual home show here at the Roundhouse in Martinsburg. It's the home of lots of free food and hundreds of people who are yeah. just enjoying their day out. And 145, I think, is the number I heard of uh, vendors of various types yes. that are here. Uh, and it's a great time. So, yeah. Yep, John. It's a lot of people, a lot of uh, different uh, opportunities today, not just homes. I mean, if you are coming here and you think, well, I don't need anything for my home, there are a lot of other things that you could shop for or, in, uh, I guess, investigate. Your, all your options. How often can you come to one location and shop for this many different things, uh, compare you know, everyone in that market? So it's, it's really a unique opportunity, I think, 
And as we know, yes. you can buy sound systems here because it's yes. a sound system vendor set up directly across if you from the booth hear here. That, that so is if you what hear you're periodically, you hear a lot of bass. I'm not sure yeah. if it comes over. That's what's going on. Absolutely. Joining us now for this segment is Jared Ferguson, and he and his wife and family have just moved to this area. And I'm going to let him tell you a little bit about his story and what his business is and what he's planning, what your plans are for the future. And tell us a little bit about what drew you guys to this area. Well, thank you for the opportunity. Yes, and absolutely. We, we actually are moving, well, moved back, back to the area. We were here previously from late 2010 until early 2014, and we moved to Charleston, West Virginia, um, when I became the market president and commercial lender for MVB Bank um, right. in, in that part of the state. However, last June, we came back. Right. Um, I've been blessed, and, and I'm very fortunate to be given an opportunity with State Farm. Uh, I've been in their agent intern program since last October. Gotcha. And good Lord willing, and <laughs> as long as I do what's expected of me and what I'm instructed to do, uh, May 1st I'll open my agency here in Martinsburg. Great. Yes. What? So in coming back to this area, what would you say drew you and your wife back? <laughs> Growth and opportunity. Yeah, uh, I'm a West Virginia native. I uh, went to Fairmont Senior High School. I went to Fairmont uh, State and played football there where I met my wife. She played volleyball. Um, and while I love the state of West Virginia and we love Charleston, I learned a lot being a, a market president. There we got uh -huh. the bank off the ground. Uh, there were no operations before we got there. So it was a, a phenomenal learning experience for me. Right. However, this is where the growth is in West Virginia. Uh -huh. Uh, we just felt this is where our children will get the best opportunities lifelong and, right. and hopefully when they do get to that point in their life when they need to choose a profession yeah. they'll have more opportunities here and they won't have to sure. move so far right uh, how do you start a new insurance agency it seems to me it's almost a serious game right because everybody most people of certain status already have their insurance right, right. so how do you do that well this is uh, a good question, and it's one of the blessings that I've been afforded. I am actually inheriting a uh, very established book of business. Uh, unfortunately, Mr. Jerry Williams passed away last spring, and he had been the agent there for multiple decades, and before him, his father. Yes. Um, so I'm getting a head start, which is refreshing for me. I've always been kind of the, the guy that goes and starts <laughs> Right. The, the market or the footprint for uh, whomever I'm working for. So I'm getting a head start. Uh, that's the way with shifting industry, shifting careers, that made the most sense for me. Sure. Yeah. That and the brand awareness. Absolutely. Uh, it's, it's, you can't watch a sporting event in the United States today without seeing Jake or Patrick Mahomes or right. Chris Paul. or right. But just you don't Stephen have Mizzle. a talking gecko. <laughs> no. You know, how know. can you possibly have nope. an insurance company without a gecko? <laughs> we, we, uh, the Super Bowl was played in State Farm Stadium, and the Super Bowl MVP is the key spokesperson for State Farm. Hey. That worked pretty good you for us. You don't get better branding than that. That's, <laughs> yeah. uh, it worked out pretty well for us. My wife was actually a, uh, a claim rep for State Farm okay. for many years yeah. back in the day down in uh, Dumfries, Virginia. Okay. Yeah. That, that office is closed. Yeah. So what are the what are the major – what are the – State Farm covers all lines of insurance, right? Automotive and, and health and, and what have you. What, Correct. <clears throat> do agencies tend to specialize in one over the other, or is it a full range? We aspire to be full range. However, more often than not, a, an agent, when he or she becomes established, develops a niche. Uh, with us, you could say our niche could be more in the financial services, um, more along the lines of life insurance, retirement planning. I have a Series 6, 63, and 65 securities licenses. And with a background in banking, yeah, I, I, I think we'll get opportunities more in the life insurance and retirement planning, IRAs, things of that nature. However, it all leads with car insurance right. yeah. at the farm. Makes and sense. and, and th that's where we get uh, the initial opportunity more often yeah. than not. We're the number one auto insurer in the United States and Canada. All right, well, we got to go. How do people get in touch with you? Well, for, for right now, they really can't. <laughs> Be untouchable. <laughs> the, uh, it's it's uh, what what I am required to do is learn for the next say month. Um, and as of May first, I go live, and at that point, I will 
be announcing on all the all the various outlets, social right. media. We'll, we'll be put, looking for We'll that. have a full court press out there okay. for Ferguson State Farm. So we'll awesome. talk to you in May. We'll be right back. Yep. Thank you. Thanks. I pre-planned my funeral to make it easier on my family. They were relieved to know I'll get just what I want. My family actually thanked me for taking matters into my own hands. Turns out having this awkward conversation wasn't awkward at all. Pre-planning is my choice. There are certain things about me my family may not know. Now they won't need to guess. The choices are yours. The peace of mind is theirs. Pre-plan your funeral with Brown Funeral Homes and everything will be taken care of. Find out more online at brownfuneralhomeswv.com. Brown Funeral Homes, here for you. You've been in an accident. The choice of a lawyer may be the biggest decision you make for you and your family's future. At Mansion Ferretti, we offer a free consultation and no fees until we win your case. Call us today and protect your future. Mansion Ferretti, when you need justice. Hello, Glenn Mocker here, your local Comparion insurance agent. I wanted to take a moment to remind you that Chad Williams and I will be at the Eastern Panhandle Home Builders Association Home Show in Martinsburg on March 25th and 26th at the Martinsburg Roundhouse. Give me a call at 301-378-7639. Hey, Chad Williams here. Glenn and I want to make sure that everyone knows who the two most proactive personal lines insurance agents are in the four-state region. We not only offer the best possible insurance advice to cover you and your loved ones, but ensure you're saving money with the greatest rates from all our line of carriers. Uh, Give me a call at 301-378-7628. Hello, this is Jason Johnson with Johnson Johnson Heating and Air Conditioning. Have you heard of our Comfort Club? It's our maintenance program designed to keep your heating and cooling system running all year long while saving you money. So join the J&J Experience with Johnson Johnson Heating and Air Conditioning, your Lennox premier dealer. And welcome to Comfort. Welcome to Comfort. And we are back. Actually, the show has been taken over by food. So, we, yeah. we, we have roast beef. <laughs> We have French fries. We got a burger, yeah. and we got Mary Beth. We got HD Boyd uh, here torturing us <laughs> with food that is to be photographed Smells but not yet so touched. So good, yes. Tell us what we have here, HD. Well, uh, today our, our special on the truck is our uh, pulled roast beef and cheddar sub. Mm. Um, Look how good this looks. Yum. It it, it is really good. Mm. Um, it, this here is our our smash burger. It's okay. a it's a double it's burger, a special burger. sauce, That's and then fun. our our hand cut OG fries. Um, the OG fries have my uh, OG wing seasoning on them that, oh, wow. that we uh, now sell nationwide, worldwide, I guess. Oh, wow. um, yeah, I actually sponsor uh, Chad Rose's car in the, uh, in the Arc of Menard series oh, wow. with uh, West Virginia Tourism uh-huh. as well um, with our Mountaineer OG dry rub seasoning. So um, this is all off of my fed-up food truck. Our, our regular menu items there, our core items are the smash burger, the OG fries, and the OG wings. And then we throw in different specials at different events right. and different locations. So you're here all day today till 6. So it's a great opportunity to come out and get dinner, a snack. And then tomorrow, Y'all get chat. out here 10 to 4. You're going to be here all day We're tomorrow. Here all day to, tomorrow as well. We also have, um, we also have some... Uh, Decorative candy apples for sale out there Ooh. today that just got here handmade uh, here locally, and uh, they're, they're, they're looking really good. Uh, so we, we have a number of great things on the truck today. And you're located right outside the roundhouse. Yeah, right outside the Frog and Switch shop, right okay. there with the other food vendors. You have uh, Travis Bishop of Mountaineer Mo- Meat Smokers out there, Almost Heaven uh, food truck out there. and uh, It's Effin Flatbreads. That's what he changed his name to. I saw that. <laughs> he, was, he, he was doggy style hot dogs, right? Or no, D's, well, and D's, well, D's Donuts, donuts right? And, yes, and but now, now. He, now he's Effin Flatbreads, yeah. You got to <laughs> give, give him an A plus on creativity, yeah. right? <laughs> is your food truck on the street every week, every day, or is it just for we're, special events? Um, we're early in the season right now, so we're doing events. You know, we do Apple Blossom, we do um, Youth Fair, uh, we did the St. Patty's Day yes. last weekend. Um, we. We catered. We we, we did um, a lacrosse tournament, Spring Mills, a couple mm-hmm. weekends ago. Uh, but you know, we, we closed down for the winter when it got really cold. Yeah. And, and now that we're starting to get into spring, you'll see us more and more. I'm I'm still looking for a full time person on the truck so we can be out. Last year we were out four days a week on a regular wow. basis. Um, Somewhere, and you just announce your locations like social media. Yeah, we, we have a Facebook page. Okay. Yeah. Um, Fed up food truck Facebook. Okay. On Facebook. Um, and you can check us out there to see where we're going to be at. So is it a constant search in the area to find 
which corner or which block is, is we did, best for food? Last year was our, our first year out doing that full year. Uh, we yeah. started in the fall, and then we came back out through last summer. Uh -huh. uh, and we did do that. We would set up at, like, Gates. We would set up out by the VA. Right. Um, you know, some places we had to pay. Some places were free. Uh -huh. Some places we got run off. Oh, you gosh. Know, it's, um, <laughs> you know, you have different yeah. businesses, different places. You know, we have one one um, business ask us to be in front of their business for a for a, a grand opening or something, and it was in the plaza on Winchester Avenue, and there's other food places in there, and they called and complained oh, and sure. pushed us off the lot. But you know, I, I think there's enough business for everybody yeah. in Berkeley County. We're, we're yeah. a big, growing county here. But, and enough you know, events. There are so many events that I mean, we're really adding so many to the to the calendar. And you have Wine Fest. I know you were there last year. Yep. Yours was one of the trucks. I think. Remember how wet and muddy it was at Wine Fest and got stuck when you came in. But we got you out. I think. <laughs> yeah. But I mean. Every event that I, I've been at, you are there. You're one of the main things that people look for because they just know they can count on your food, and it's always so so good and fresh. And um, yeah, anything else on the truck today that people might be interested in? Are these your main things? Will you have a different menu tomorrow? Um, we have a couple other things over there today. We also have a pulled pork sandwich. We have. Yeah. Um, I don't think we brought the Brussels sprouts today. We oh have wow! Big fried Brussels sprouts sometimes. Oh yeah. And, um, trying to think we have the apples yeah. i know there's something else i'm missing over there today yeah. but I, we, we kept the menu kind of streamlined today because there was there's three other food trucks with us sure you know so yeah you are also a berkeley county councilman i am <laughs> do you want to talk any politics during this at all i, I mean we don't have to talk politics but we can talk berkeley county yeah. okay uh, what do yeah, you think about right. an event like this for our community what does it mean to you as a com you know a councilman like to see this and especially you're also on the roundhouse authority I, I am. and so this has to make you happy <laughs> this, this is a special project for me yeah. I, i've worked on this project for nine years now wow um I, I was the chairman i stepped down as the chairman when i got elected to berkeley county um council and I'm, I'm still on the board. I'm, I'm still the board president of the, of the foundation, which is the, the fundraising arm for the Roundhouse. Okay. Um, I, I'm happy to announce at the end of this month, 1st of April, no, about a week, week and a half away, we break ground behind the uh, Bridge Machine Shop with the $745,000 grant we got from the Department of Highways to put in the elevator and the steps on the back side of that building. Great. Um, the city was gracious enough last year to give us $125,000 for the HVAC system over there. Unfortunately, the price went up. We're trying to find some funds to get the remaining balance, what we right. need to get that put in. But by next year, we may have a whole other building of space wow. over here ready to go, you know, upstairs and downstairs. Um, and what a great uh, facility that will be for other events. I feel like just as someone who plans events in the community myself with my business and some of the organizations I'm on, it's hard to find a place that has very large capacity anymore. Right. So our community's grown so much, the, the local hotels don't even have ballroom space for some activities. So that building itself, with the, once you get the elevator the, and the HVAC, the wow. Up, the upstairs of that will be one giant, beautiful event hall. Um, and, and that was the goal of that. The downstairs we're aiming to do similar to the Capital Market in Charleston. Oh, gosh, I don't know yes. if you guys or anybody's yes. been to the Capital Market in Charleston. That's been the business plan for the downstairs of that building. So once we get that open, this facility will be open six, seven days a week. Um, and then we'll have an outdoor seasonal market mm -hmm. on the back. Now, now I did just uh, secure funding from Department of Agriculture two weeks ago down in Charleston from uh, Kent Lionheart, our ag director yes. of the state of West Virginia. Um, he gave us money to bring the farmers market. Farmers here. market, that's so that a kicks off here yeah. in June. Um, we've combined the two smaller markets that were here in Martinsburg uh -huh. for the last couple of years. It'll be all combined into one down here in the Frog and Switch and out front oh, uh, every Saturday morning uh -huh. this summer. So I think that will really help people. I know where it was last year, even though it was. I mean, it's right. It was right behind you know the church in the parking lot, but I feel like still not as much visibility or name recognition for someone looking for it like if you when you were on the square you could say on the square of Martinsburg right. this is going to be I think such a great location at the roundhouse the farmers market at the roundhouse it's going to be a great addition to uh, our community so when does that actually start uh, I want to say the first of June okay um, I don't know the first day and it's of June. every the Saturday, Saturday right every Saturday okay. it's going to be over here but by next year we're hoping to have the it, it, there's the old the old uh, wash station out back uh -huh. here, you see it as a skeleton of a building in the back, a steel mm -hmm. building. We're, um, we're trying to secure funds to make a pavilion-style roof. Oh, nice. To make that our outdoor seasonal market where you would have perennials, 
you would have oh, yeah. vegetables, pumpkins, yeah. Christmas trees, That's you know, the whole amazing, thing going yeah. on outside. Run along by with retailers? The indoor market. What's that? Retail space run by retailers? Yes. Okay. Yes, absolutely. Wow. Uh, local farmers and retailers. And then in, on the inside, you would have like a little food court and then you would have oh, nice. like a little market mm -hmm. and different things. So um, it, it's, it's a big vision we've been working on. I've, I've been personally driving it for nine years now wow. and uh, we got the bathrooms done now the elevator steps are coming yeah we secured money for the hvac so it's all coming it's together coming finally together. And, yeah. and we also have plans and drawings um for amphitheater over here mm -hmm. in the ruins so there, there's a big things going on here at the roundhouse and I, i've personally been working hard towards yeah. so i have a team of people well I'm not, done I do it all myself but no it's you know, so it's, good just to see the buildings like people out here in the buildings that normally great. never would be here i was telling john because it's his first time here he's never been in all the areas i told him to make sure to go out to where the silent auction is there was a last year at least there was a little museum that, area that is what and, and we actually there was some of that hidden over here beside the uh caboose car this year uh -huh. and the new director and and his assistant They've done a wonderful job of taking all those things and, and making that back blacksmith shop into more of a museum style place. And that will be a, a, a arm of the Berkeley County Museum, which is coming. I, I am the uh, liaison for the Berkeley County Museum Board. Um, we're working very hard to get that going. That'll be in the old um, bank there next to the old courthouse. Oh, yeah. King Street. Mm -hmm. um, so there's big things coming to Berkeley County. You know, new yeah. arts, new museum. All right. We got about 10 stuff. seconds. What do you, you want to what do you want to close with? Support Berkeley County. Get down right. here to the home show. Yeah, and make sure you take in some I just want to get off food. the air and start eating. So we'll be back a little bit. <laughs> Thanks, HD. Yeah, thank you, guys. Thank uh -huh. you. Appreciate it. When will I be able to retire? How do I make the most of the money I have? How do I leave a lasting legacy to my loved ones? I'm Philip McCoy, financial advisor with the Marius Group, a private wealth advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services Incorporated. Call us today at 304-263-4343 to help you make the most of your financial future. Our office is located at 1270 Winchester Avenue, Martinsburg, West Virginia. Ameriprise Financial Services Incorporated, member FINRA and SIPC. Hi, Cresha Hornby here. Larry DeMarco, broker of Modern Realty Results, believes he has some of the best real estate agents in the Eastern Panhandle. Agents at Modern Realty Results have years of experience and knowledge of the local real estate market. Agents within the office work as a team to provide quality customer service. We strive to always ensure client satisfaction through handling every transaction with honesty and integrity, all while offering competitive rates. Modern Realty Results is veteran-owned and managed. Please call us at 262-4222, modernrealtyresults.com. This is Melissa Nault, Regional Manager for City National Bank. We are bringing the heat to the home show with our sizzling hot financial solutions. Stop by our booth and fill up your cup with delicious coffee and let's talk about how we can perk up your personal finances. From savings accounts to personal and home equity loans, we've got the perfect blend of options to suit your needs. So come on down and let's caffeinate your financial future together with City National Bank. Cheerio for now. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. <laughs> yes. Wow, that was wordy. If you're in an accident, the first thing that you have to do is call 911. You have to get medical care immediately. The next thing you need to do is call us. When you hire us at the Skinner Law Firm, what we do is we are going to investigate your case. And we're going to lay out the options that you have, all at no cost to you. We will use all of our resources and all of our experience to get you what you deserve. The Skinner Law Firm, SkinnerFirm.com. And we're back. Sometimes people should see what's going on right before the cameras come on. It gets a little confusing here. Welcome back, Mary Beth. And, and I'm John Gilstrap, and we are now joined with uh, Jonathan Botwell and Michelle. I'm sorry, I don't know your last name. Terwilliger. Terwilliger. Uh, thank you for saying that, because we would have probably messed it up anyways. So if I, had, I, I sometimes just mess it up on purpose just for fun. <laughs> I'm just going to call her Michelle T. Michelle <laughs> Twig. Okay. We go by the Twigs. Twigs. Yes. So y'all are here representing Bodwell Insurance Solutions. Yes, okay. we are. All right. We need to do something with his mic and bring it down a little bit. Um, I see your name. We talked about this last time I, I saw you. Whenever I go to a restaurant, I see your name in the placemat <laughs> and your picture. Yes, it's we right are. It's right there in the middle. I like that. Yeah, uh, it makes me a celebrity at the at the diner. That's Nothing right. Better than being a diner-based celebrity. And I saw that, and I went to my insurance guy, and I said, "You're fired. Uh, I don't see your face on a placemat. You oh can't possibly gosh. be a real insurance guy." He's missing out. Yeah. <laughs> so tell us about y'all. 
Well, we are a uh, we're a Medicare insurance agency. Uh, we have uh, we have agents through the Eastern Panhandle. We have uh, about 37 agents in five states now. We are growing and building like crazy. Um, we work with Medicare. It's an underserved population. It is uh, it's truly a, a very difficult thing. It's uh, we refer to it as the Medicare maze. Yeah. We do a lot of Medicare education, and we basically we we we, we teach people the ins and outs of Medicare and make sure to try to find them whatever the, the best coverage is for them. Now, would you say that, that your audience, your, your um, general clientele is an elderly population or is it all, I mean, is it, would you say very diverse? For the most part, be careful in the definition of elderly. Oh, I'm elderly. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm asking for myself now. Exactly, the yes. AARP? Yes. Well, I mean, <laughs> For, for the Asking most part, for most people with Medicare are elderly, but anyone who is yes. anyone who's been on federal disability right. for 24 months can get on Medicare. Okay. Um, we also do some some life insurance, so right. we can we we can deal with just about anybody. Well, that, yeah, and everybody that, has right. either has or has has parents, right? Or yes. had parents yes. or uncles, yeah. aunts, and no older people who need help with their it's Medicare. It's so true, and I, I mean. Speaking from myself, that's why I'm asking my mother. I mean, I manage her financial, you know, all of everything for her financially because right. while my father has passed. Shug Kisner is my dad. I don't know if you remember Shug, if you're from this community yeah. or not. Yeah. But anyways, so but I've been helping them for a long time. And my dad got sick back in 20, 2007, just helping them. And so my mom constantly is seeing commercials on television, yes. getting the phone calls. You need this. You don't have that. And well, she, she'll say, Mary. Now, do I need this? And I'm like, you know, I really, I think you're fine. We, we've got, but it, well, I didn't know that there was experts here that Mary, we could turn to. That's well, you, so you good to know. You definitely can. And, and yeah. Mary, I'll tell you, you know, whether somebody buys a policy from one of those 800 numbers yeah. or buys a policy directly from an insurance company or from a local agent, they're getting the exact same policy at the yeah. exact same price. What they get when they deal with somebody like us yeah. is... They are our client. We know who they right, are. Right. We are looking at you their You know stuff. what they need. When they call, when they <laughs> yes. call and they have a question or a problem, they're calling us. Mm -hmm. They're not calling a, an 800 number right. that, that may end up in Pakistan well, or somebody exactly. on their second day who to doesn't me, have any that's idea. So good to know there's someone local who you can trust that you're not. It's. I just always tell my mom. I would be suspicious of any number that is, you know, 800 number oh, that yeah. comes, regardless of what it is. I always tell her to tell them that I'll call them, you know. Oh, so yeah. it's just, that's great to know. I didn't know that about your. When they, yeah, when they call me, I say stuff like, it, it's done. There's blood everywhere, but it's done. And they're like, what? <laughs> I said, oh, sorry, wrong, wrong call. <laughs> you know, it's, having just walked this minefield fairly recently, it's, it is, there are a lot of moving parts. Yes. Much more, you think, that, you know, you turn 65 and then you get Medicare. Well, okay. Then that's that part A, and then you have all of the others, and then when you get to the supplemental insurance, right. my God, the number of moving parts they're so involved confusing. with that, and the clock the ticks, right? Yes. So if you wait too long, you you really well, get in trouble. And there's it so many lots. holes to Medicare where yeah. if you don't have a plan, either a Medicare supplement or a Medicare Advantage plan, you're leaving yourself open to catastrophic medical bills. I mean, if, yeah. if you have some sort of a cancer event, it could be tens of thousands of dollars if wow. you don't have some sort of policy along with it. Now, Michelle does a lot of work in the community okay. and dealing with our agents and doing a little bit of everything. Um, tell, us, so, yeah, tell us how you work with the customer and the client. So I am um, on both ends of it. Okay. I definitely love people. You know, I always yeah. told Jonathan, I'm like, you didn't hire me for the insurance side. <laughs> that I've learned, but right. people are my thing. Um, so we, I love going into like the lower income senior living apartment yeah. complexes introducing ourselves as really their help. I mean, yeah. that's, they have us, they have our numbers, mm -hmm. they know how to get a hold of us. We go in and do events. That's so good. We'll take snacks and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> I'm and sure we they love it when you get They come. do, <laughs> they do, absolutely. We do Medicare bingo, all kinds of fun uh -huh. things like that, but really get them involved so they understand that they can trust us. They right. can call us if they have questions. If something changes their doctors, mm -hmm. their medications, they know right. to give us a call. They're really great about sharing that information. There's always one mayor in the building. Oh, yeah? <laughs> oh, that's interesting. So they always want to share that information uh -huh. the best that they got. Uh -huh. You know, and there's so many benefits that they can be entitled to that they don't know about. They don't know. Exactly. Right. Exactly. And then on the veteran side, um, mm -hmm. we work a lot with veterans. Oh, wow. We're so thankful for them. And um, 
we really have some great plans that, mm-hmm. again, they're not aware of right. either, that they have benefits that they can get. So if someone no like to. myself wanted to just sit down and, and say, I want you to take a look at my mom's plan. Sure. We do and that. then just look at, tell, tell me what my options are. Is she covered the way she needs to? Can you help her? You know, is that what you just call and you mm-hmm. sit down and we go through that? Most Absolutely. definitely. We yeah. have, uh, we actually have a, a computer system. We enter all the drugs, the doctors in, uh-huh. and we can analyze. I mean, we have people who are literally paying thousands of dollars a year more for their prescriptions because they're not on the right prescription drug right. plan. Right. And between October 15th and December 7th of every year, people can change their drug plans, their Medicare Advantage plans. Right. And if, if you're dealing, if younger people get injured and they're looking at uh, disability plans and that sort of thing, is that, are you a resource for that as well? I'm sorry, I couldn't. For um, uh, Social Security disability. Oh, but, most definitely, it's, yeah. Definitely. Okay. People are, because they, uh, once they've been on disability for two years, they get Medicare. And we deal with plans for those people. It's just uh, there are a lot of benefits out mm-hmm. there and a lot of extra benefits that don't cost Medicare beneficiaries anything that they're not getting because they have not been educated. And they're inundated with so many illegal fo- illegal phone calls and everything else. Balloon. As Ronald Reagan said, that, that shot didn't get me. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, uh, but they're inundated with these calls, so they, they block it all out because yeah. they've been told, hey, don't trust anybody, don't do this. Right. And we go to people. Yeah. Yes. We go to their That's homes. The we yeah. go to senior housing. We go, we go to them because a lot of times they're not going to go anywhere. Oh, no. They don't have the ability to, exactly. the desire to. Right. And, and we get out there, we explain things, we go through stuff. We just we just try to help people. Yeah. And by helping people and doing the right thing, we've, we've built a very nice business. I'm getting the whirly gig sign. So if people do not have ready access to a placemat, how do they get in touch with you? Uh, 304-283-0864. 304-283-0864. BodwellInsuranceSolutions.com. They can reach me and Michelle, and Excellent. we would love to help anyone and everyone. Mike Hornby just uh, gave me the sign to give the number one more time. It's 304-283-0864. So I owe $30 because I said the number three times. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> we'll be back. Hey, thank you very much for Thanks, having us. Thanks, guys, for having us. Gears to the grown-ups. Your car is now your office. Stage, nursery, shh, sorry, insuring it shouldn't be a headache. Erie, number one in the nation for highest satisfaction with the auto insurance purchase experience six years in a row. And with Erie, you get your own independent agent, not a giant corporate call center or some online robot. You meet with a real person like this. Your local Erie agent in Martinsburg is Smallwood and Small Insurance. Get a quote at smallwoodandsmall.com. Erie Insurance. Tom, I hit your car with a softball. Did you throw it or hit it off the tee? Off the tee. Whoa, good hit, kid. Good thing we know Cody from Cody's Auto Body. I'll text him now. Oh, Kenna, I heard you hit your mom's window with a softball. Good hit. Keeps me in business. We can get you in lickety split. No sh- Hey, that's a bad word. Shut up, kid. We won't drop the ball on your car. Every repair is a grand slam. Bring your car to Cody's Auto Body. As always, it's Cody's with a T for f- trust. Hey, you can't say that. Mayhem is everywhere. I'm in new bangs, and you can't stop staring at me. That's it. Just tilt the rearview mirror over here. And while you're checking me out more times in a library book, your car is wandering into that lane over there. More bangs? <laughs> Neat. And if you've got cut rate insurance, you could be paying for this yourself. So get Allstate. Call Martinsburg Allstate agent Gary Kelly today at 304-263-4596. When you are looking for the perfect gift, look no further than L.A. Roberts Jewelers at 146 North Queen Street in downtown Martinsburg. Choose from a huge selection of unique items from the finest diamonds that make your eyes sparkle to exquisite timepieces, figurines, and collectibles. Buying from L.A. Roberts Jewelers means that you've made the decision to do business with people who've excelled in the industry for more than 100 years. They'll be here tomorrow when you need them, and if you need your jewelry or your watch repaired, they'll do that too. L.A. Roberts in downtown Martinsburg. Old world jewelers for a new age. Annual Home Show here at the Roundhouse in Martinsburg. I'm here with Mary Beth Blair. Hey. Having a wonderful we time. We are having fun. Too much fun, right? <laughs> Too much fun. Too much fun and Learning not enough so food. Much. I have. They, they brought I food. took it. From, uh, Colin uh, took it. 
Well, yeah, it's sitting. Got to feed no, our producer. No, 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 no. no. no, no, no it's no, it's no, bad to eat kidding. on. I remember yeah. going to TV school. They said you can't eat on television. <laughs> So we are joined now by Dina Morgan, a financial advisor with Edward Jones. Yes. Welcome, Dina. Well, thank you for having me. We were just chatting before we came on board, and we are actually old neighbors from the neighborhood Meadowbrook. We grew up (laughs) together and now relatives, sort of, kind of, through my cousin, married to my cousin. But anyways, welcome. Well, um, and you. tell us a little bit about your uh, about the traffic you're seeing today. You guys have a booth here with Edward Jones. Absolutely. And what are you talking to, to people about? And what do you have at your booth? That if you are if someone's come watching and they might come out, what would they stop by your booth to find out? Well, there's a multitude of information. Okay. Um, so we've got some handouts there. We also have. Um, basically an information form that they can fill out okay. and if they need something say you know they have old employer plans or you know something specific that uh-huh. they want to talk about or that they don't know something about then they can fill that out and I okay. can get them some information yeah okay, good had a lot of people stop by so far today so it's been a great day people brave it in the weather oh I know I know we were concerned that would the weather be a encouragement because you can't do anything else when it's kind of like overcast mm-hmm. and was rainy or would it be people don't want to get out in that you know so i think it's been on the good side right i think so i think so i gotta quit in terms of financial advice and not you know personal but in general are your phones ringing off the hook with the 500 hundred dollar gains their 500 point gains followed by the 500 point losses and then the just the fluctuation in the markets right now are new investors hesitant to get into the market at this point You know what? I actually, I coach my folks a lot. So people that have talked to me, they know what we're in for. Our financial counselor is also a marriage counselor at times, right? (laughs) That's that's part of it. Yes, yes. We we have to go to school for that too. No, No, but, um, you know, I've kind of coached them from the beginning that that this might be something that we're going through. Right. And so I have very few people that actually call and are worried. I, 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 so, surprised sometimes when people listen because I, you know, I reach out to folks. How are you doing? They said, well, you know what? You told me that this was going to happen. So so they kind of expect the fluctuations yeah. and they yeah. trust that if there is something that they should be concerned about, like if there is something they should move for fear, right. that you're get there, you would let them know. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I make a lot of proactive calls. If, you yeah. know, I'm coming through this stuff all the time, yeah. you know, this is what I do. And so if there's something that needs to change, then absolutely I reach out to yeah. them and say, hey, you know, I think we need to make a move. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. Where are you guys located physically outside of this weekend? Where, you, where would people find you? We are in the 300 Foxcroft building okay. right across the street from the Holiday Inn. Gotcha. Okay. Up on the third floor. Okay. So okay. in the penthouse, of course. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> And where are you here? What's your I right am here? actually just a, a couple of uh, booths down from where you are right now. Okay. So where the the, the, main area. the balloons are. Oh, yeah. okay. The orange and black balloons. Yes. yes. Okay. I would guess that the word on the street, particularly among, I say young people, and I don't mean by age, but just by where they are in their investment plan, that an investment advisor, a financial advisor, is something that really is for millionaires and people that are, have a whole lot of money. How about the kid person who's just coming out of college and has his first job? Is Do they need a financial advisor? Absolutely. Yeah. Has there ever been a more softball question asked <laughs> to you? <laughs> Absolutely. Some people think that they just don't have enough or they haven't worked long enough to get started. And really, it's not about how much you have. It's how long you have to invest. Right. It's really time in. It it really is. And so it's probably more of an advantage to start as a young there person, is. even if it's small, and then watch it grow. I know we prob- we tried to explain that to our children and give them that lesson that you may not have, like you said, much to start with, but look at this. when you If you start now, when you're retirement age, look yes. at what you could have. Absolutely. But they want to spend, spend, spend. Well, you know, you skip, <laughs> you skip one Starbucks a day, not to penalize <laughs> Starbucks. You skip one Starbucks a day, that's right. a thousand bucks a year that can be invested somewhere, right? Mm -hmm, And of course, then what happens, you put the money in and the next day the market tanks 200 points. Oh no, I've I've gone broke. And it's, there's also the long haul, right? There's the long haul, absolutely. And you can always look at a downturn as an opportunity. Yeah. You know, that might be the time to put a little bit more in because you know, you, oh, get, yeah. you get things on sale then, right? Right. You get your favorite pair of pants and they're retail and you think, well, I'm going to wait till they're on sale. Yeah. There's your opportunity. Yep. Makes sense. What's the difference between a financial advisor and a stockbroker? <laughs> 
we can do a little bit of both. Uh-huh. Yeah. So I, I have a lot of folks with um, stock portfolios. Okay. And so we manage those as well. Do you do so individual you, stocks? Or do you do uh, um, uh, uh, mutual like funds? Mutual funds. Mutual funds. Both. Yes. Both. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I do both. I have. Um, multitude of things that we work with pretty much anything that you can get out there now of course edward jones uh we have research analysts that go through and they vet all of our right. uh, products that we use and so you know there's a filtration system with that and so we don't offer anything that's going to be dangerous it's all good quality things right so and the, the other thing that i like about edward jones is we have absolutely no products uh-huh. And you might think, well, why is that important? What does that mean you have no product? We have no actual product. So we don't have, you know, mutual funds or stocks or that are in the Edward Jones name. So um, if I'm giving you some kind of advice, I'm giving it to you because it's completely non-biased. And I think this is good for you versus uh-huh. something else. Right. And I think that's important. So I you're really not, do. if you're not someone who's going to direct them to something you have in house, right. because you're looking at it from a totally objective perspective. Absolutely. Right. Yes. I'm a fiduciary. Yes. So I'm absolutely looking out for your best interests. Right. right. The right. last five seconds are yours. What do you want people to know? How do they get in touch with you? We should do that. <laughs> yes, yes. How, how can we get a hold of you? So you can either um, you look up Edward Jones online, okay. and you can look at my um, you can look at my website, and you can also give me a call. So the number is three zero four seven zero seven. 0110. Regina dot Morgan at edwardjones.com. Absolutely. All right. Thank you so much. Thanks for for coming by. Thanks for having me. All right. We'll be back. Join us for the 2023 Eastern Panhandle Home Builders Association 26th Annual Home Show, March the 25th and 26th at the Roundhouse in downtown Martinsburg, featuring over 110 exhibits and food trucks on the ground. Diamond sponsor Pine Creek Structures is giving away an outdoor patio set, and you can enter to win. This year's silent auction is sponsored by Snyder, Bailey & Associates. The 2023 Home Show is the place to see home builders, remodelers, banks and lenders, landscaping companies, heating and air conditioning contractors, and a whole host of other products for your home with over 110 exhibits. Platinum sponsors include City National Bank, Eastern Panhandle Heating and Cooling, DRB Homes, High Point Roofing, and Aspen Home Improvements. Admission is free, so stop by the Martinsburg Roundhouse and get some information on your next home project at the 26th Annual Home Show, March the 25th and 26th. This year's gold sponsors include Modern Renovations, Negley's Clean Water, Nicely Pools, the Eastern Panhandle Board of Realtors, Rank and Remodeling, and the Hornby Media Group. Silver sponsors include Cumberland Valley, ABC Supply Company, and Modern Realty Results. For more information, visit ephomeshow.com. Hello? We're here again three times in the past two days. You're where? Bechtel Jewelers. Look. Can mom hear you? No, she's in a diamond coma. Get her the pendant or I will. Hey, that's my credit card. What? Can't hear you, Dad. You're breaking up. It's going to take more than a crying baby to wake her out of this diamond coma. You're going to need a mega dose of jewelry from Bechtel Jewelers. Providing reliable protection since 1877, we are Farmers and Mechanics Insurance Companies. From small beginnings and over a century later, we maintain our dedication to our policyholders to provide dependable insurance protection and excellent customer service. Protecting everything from your home to your business has never been easier. Our team is here to ensure that you, your family, and your assets are taken care of. We enjoy giving back and doing our part to keep Martinsburg a great place to be. Welcome back to the Roundhouse and the 26th Annual Home Show here in Martinsburg, West Virginia. A very nice day. I'm looking out there and the sun's coming out and everything. Yes. So we are, Mary Beth and I, are, I think this is, we're here for two hours today, right? Yes. Coming up to the end, end of the, the first one, having a marvelous time. And we are joined here on the set with Steve Hedges, who is, I wrote it quickly so we'll get it done. He works with Brown Funeral Homes where he is the, a certified pre-planning consulting Consultant and marketing director. That wow. is correct. And well done. I know. Yeah. I try Thank hard. You. I'm I impressed. try hard. <laughs> well, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Great. Thank you for your support of the of this event uh, as a major sponsor. And you have a booth set up. I do. Tell us what you're sharing today at your booth. What are you What are you engaging with the the, the people who are here? Are you talking to them about plans, um, products, services that you have? You know, I've had two people walk up just in the last hour uh-huh. asking if they can be buried on their own property. Wow. So we get some interesting questions uh-huh. like that. Well, you have to answer uh, that question. Well, <laughs> yes, you may. 
Okay. I mean, uh, there are certain parameters you have to stay within, right of ways. You should contact whatever county you're thinking about to see what okay. kind of uh, restrictions they may have, if any, mm-hmm. and then contact Brown Funeral Home and make a prearrangement. Right. Give us the information about what your choices are for burial uh-huh. and any other services that you might want to include before you go to your property. Right. How about that? What What would you say, how many, are there statistics that tell us how many people do plan ahead? And, and honestly, one of the hardest things to go through is the loss of a loved one. And when there are no plans and you're left as the family member who has to do that, it makes it so difficult. You're not only grieving, but you're having to figure out what would be their wishes. So That's exactly what, right. I guess a two-part question is, what's that percentage in, of people who actually do pre-plan? And then just talk about the benefits of doing that. Like if you, for us, like we should today, we should be making sure we have a plan so our children, you know, my children don't have to make that decision for me. Robbie? You know, yes. You'll make the right decisions, <laughs> it's, won't it, with My husband, Rob, and I recently were talking about that. And we were like, gosh, I don't want them to decide all these things. We, I mean, we have a living yeah. will, of course, but we never declared within that exactly our wishes for our final wishes. Mm-hmm. And not that I didn't, didn't want to trust Robbie, but I would, I just, there are certain things I would want to make sure we're done. Well, it's kind of a burden yes. for a child yeah. to have to figure that out. Mm-hmm. So... The main purpose of pre-planning is to get those wishes written down. Right, right. And that way there's no question or burden on the Mm -hmm. family about making the right decisions. Right. And the other part of it is is, uh, gaining the financial advantage of possibly paying for it in advance. Right. Because at your young age and yours, (laughs) if you can do that. Thank you for including me in that. (laughs) You're welcome. Yeah, yeah. No, the younger you are, the more benefit it would be because in West Virginia, Mm -hmm. we have to guarantee prepaid funeral arrangements Mm -hmm. until they're needed. So you could live another 50 years, and the funeral home cost will not change. Change. Wow. Right. And and that's obviously an advantage, too, for anyone who wants to be able to leave as much as possible to their children. If you're planning for that now, then that means when that time comes, more most likely will go to the children because the the costs have not You know, there's another side of this, too, having gone through this in my own family, extended family. When you get siblings involved, right? And everyone has a everybody idea. has a different idea of, of you know whether, how much should be spent and what it should look like. And right. The whole pre-planning thing solves make that. Make that well, thank you, John. You know, I, I was thinking about that on the way up. In fact, this morning I was at the uh, Shepherdstown Presbyterian mm-hmm. Church for an estate planning. Okay. And that's yes. why I was late getting here. But on my way up here, I wanted to think of three words. Families are complicated. True. <laughs> and that, that Everybody kind of sums up yeah. the good reason why you want to sit down with me. Right. And and get these plans written down. Right. So if someone buys a burial plot and you buy, I don't know, two or three, whatever the case may be, and uh, for two, let's say that, and, and the first spouse passes and is buried there, the second spouse gets remarried and goes someplace else, now we got this empty burial site. Are those resellable? They may be, depending on cemetery rules. Mm -hmm. That would be one consideration. The other consideration is the demand, Mm -hmm. and it may not be there. Um, A... Well, I'm not really in the cemetery business, but I, I, I can well, give you... Well, that's part of the pre-planning can, process, It right? absolutely yeah. is. Right. Yeah. So with some cemeteries, that grave space could be transferred to a, uh, like a sister cemetery sure. somewhere. Or you could try selling it, or you could donate it. Right. Okay? And um, I know there are places that would be willing to accept yeah. that information to pass along to an, a family that might need one. Now, Browns has two locations in Berkeley County, correct? Do you have, in neighboring counties, do you have? Jefferson, uh, Jefferson County yeah, you do. Yeah, it's one. a church mm-hmm. facility. Yeah, or yeah. It was an older church. Yeah. I've been to that one as well. Yeah. Um, tell us everything that you have to offer a your a, a client and what, you know, what you, what the actual planning, what would you go through as a plan, you know, when you sit down to make that plan? Sure. Well, the first step is to get a vital information form uh-huh. completed. 
and uh, all of the information we would need to be able to do our job initially. Okay. Right. Okay? That information form will include that information okay. that we have to have. Yeah. One of it is to complete an original death certificate. That's mm -hmm. our job. Mm -hmm. And then we have a doctor sign it. And then we order certified copies of right. death certificates for the family. Then order more than you think you're going to need. Exactly. Quite often. <laughs> yeah. In fact, I had a, a family just tell me t they wanted 20. Wow. Well, that is a lot. Yeah, that But that's is. okay. Yeah. Everybody's different. And then once we get the vital information, then we'll talk about what kind of services. Mm -hmm. And I can give an estimate on what those choices are. Uh, then... We can talk about how it's going to be paid. Mm -hmm. And on the contract, it shows terms of payment. So we can fill that part in. So gotcha. if it's prepaid, we'll show paid in full. Right. If a life insurance policy is going to be used in the mm -hmm. future, we'll show that it will be proceeds from that policy. Okay. Uh, but in that case, then, the pricing would be effective for 60 days oh okay so if it's going to be paid for in the future with a life insurance policy the pricing is subject right. to change mm -hmm. see i'm irish can i have an open bar <laughs> at my viewing if you if you bring your own bartender <laughs> okay. in your own bar okay and can you make me like this with a martini glass in the if, can we can do whatever you choose okay all right now i have this question are there plans for browns to expand and maybe have even a larger facility because i i mean i unfortunately i'm at the age where i am going to your facilities more often than i'd like with you know aging family members and friends and it, honestly for the growth of our community it, many of them are at capacity and so right. it makes you wonder do we need a larger facility i don't know i know you open up side areas and rooms but when you built the Inwood facility, did you ever think you'd be at capacity as quickly as you no, are? No, that was in the year 2000. I mean, that mm -hmm. is just, yeah. It's still pretty adequate. Uh -huh. uh, parking is an issue downtown, but exactly. we, we get by. Uh -huh. um, of course, we have the property in Spring Mills. Okay. So there is a future plan for that. Now, that's been uh, a complicated and costly affair. Uh -huh. to bring to fruition gotcha. and we're still probably a couple years away from that but it will be an extraordinary facility wow. and there's plenty of uh, area there, okay. plenty of property so if people it. need to get in touch with you if they have need for your services how do they do that well uh, i'm at brown funeral homes that you can go online to our website brownfuneralhomeswv.com send a note you may even do a uh, plan online, prearrange online oh, wow. page. Uh -huh. Click submit. I get that information. You That's put nice. your contact uh -huh. information on there. I'll give you a call. Okay. We'll set up an appointment that's convenient uh -huh. at a time and place where it would be good for you. Mm -hmm. And then we do what I've already said we, we would do. We yes. get information, estimate, cost, yes. choices. Burial plots, I can give advice on that and because there's a lot of options for that, too, right. in Berkeley County. Or cremation. Now, here's the cool thing. I, I don't know if we're running out of time, but if you, if you are choosing cremation, then in our appointment, we can, you may sign your own cremation authorization wow. form. Okay? And that stays on the record. And that way, your family is relieved of making that choice. Sure. And with cremation, it gets complicated. Right. Your next of kin must sign off on your cremation. And if your spouse has predeceased you and you have five kids, you're going to have to have three of those kids wow. sign off. And that can be complicated, yes. too. Okay, so, uh, yeah. yeah. I know these are difficult conversations to have with people. I think it takes a, must be a very gentle hand. Um, and a big heart in order to handle it. And yes. I think the services you provide are really spectacular. And Thank on that you. note, we have to go. Thank we'll be you. We'll back. All right. This is Eric at Hagerstown Ford. Over the last decade, the way we buy things have evolved. Now, you get on your phone, click Want It, and it shows up at your front door. At Hagerstown Ford, it is that convenient. We've changed the car buying experience on the I-81 corridor forever. And with a return policy better than Walmart, there's absolutely no reason to buy a new or used car, truck, or SUV anywhere else. Just like Amazon, Hagerstown Ford will deliver the vehicle to you, where you are. 
and on your time. And if you don't want it, return it. No questions asked. Why waste your time at a car dealership playing the dumb back and forth games? Besides, we hate it more than you do. I assure you, no dealership from Winchester, Virginia to Washington, D.C. will beat our price. No dealership from Chambersburg, Pennsylvania to Baltimore, Maryland will beat our price. And no other dealership will allow you to return it if you don't want it. Hagerstown Ford absolutely provides the best experience at the best price. Visit HagerstownFord.com to schedule your VIP experience. Click on the vehicle you want and get your new ride delivered to you at no risk. See dealer for details. WVU Medicine is excited to announce that Lucas, a first-of-its-kind, state-of-the-art mobile lung cancer screening unit, will visit Jefferson County next month. A service at WVU Medicine and the WVU Cancer Institute, Lucas will be at the Jefferson Crossing parking lot at 190 Blowing Springs Road in Charlestown from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. on April 4th. For an appointment, call 304-264-1287. Nurse navigators will work with you to obtain the required physician's order and insurance authorization. Hello, Glenn Mocker here, your local Comparion insurance agent. I wanted to take a moment to remind you that Chad Williams and I will be at the Eastern Panhandle Home Builders Association Home Show in Martinsburg on March 25th and 26th at the Martinsburg Roundhouse. Give me a call at 301-378-7639. Hey, Chad Williams here. Glenn and I want to make sure that everyone knows who the two most proactive personal lines insurance agents are in the four-state region. We not only offer the best possible insurance advice to cover you and your loved ones, but ensure you're saving money with the greatest rates from all our line of carriers. Uh, give me a call at 301-378-7628. And welcome back to the home show. Uh, we seem to have grown a lot of swag here. That yes. all comes from Brown Funeral Homes. I love it. Um, I love it's very nice. These I, it's, clips. Does everybody love these clips? You can for bags. Chip clips, yeah. bags, yep, absolutely. Uh, or you can put your favorite picture because it has a magnet. If you have a refrigerator with you know that it can stick on. A lot of refrigerators nowadays you can't put them on, but the sides you can. I love those. I am the cook in our house, and we just got a new toy called a sous vide, which Ooh. is which is essentially hot water and you need to clip a vacuum pack bag oh wow into this uh -huh. I know. Uh, no that that was the most boring part of the entire show <laughs> but getting much more interesting in the show we are now yes. joined by aaron matthias of matthias lawn care who Welcome. i can say do a really good job because a live testimonial yes, yes. <laughs> thank so. you very much yeah welcome thank tell you. us about matthias lawn care what all this what are the services that you provide um, and where you're located and just give us sure. some yeah information well, um we've grown a lot we uh -huh. were here last year oh good um and we had a, a lot of new things that we've done um that we're really excited about that we've promoted here at the home show um, we're located in shepherdstown west virginia okay we are a full exterior landscape company okay um we've had a lot of requests uh to do natural ponds wow. koi ponds natural yeah. pools uh, so we worked with uh, Sunny Meadows uh -huh. uh, Nursery in Boonesboro, yes. and uh, we did some ponds with them, nice. and we took it to another level. Uh -huh. Jeff went out, uh, my husband Jeff Matthias went out to Chicago a couple months ago, and we're now uh, Aquascape certified. Oh, wow. So That's yeah, now great... we're a general contractor yeah. for aquascaping. Nice. Um, and then last aquascaping. I've never heard that oh, word. Aquascaping. Okay. Yeah. It's right. it's Rolls a new thing top. here. Yeah. Koi ponds, water oh, any type of water feature where there's yeah. fountains and all that. So we actually uh, he did the certification in the national aquascape company in the country. Very impressive. Yeah. yeah. So we brought that back since we wanted to make sure that we were doing everything correctly uh -huh. for all of our sure. clients. So now, do you have um, that at your? Um, your booth did you have I, like a some type of at least pictures of it right Right, we do have a okay. lot of pictures uh -huh. um, we stuck with our we also do patio pavers and okay. knee walls so that's what we brought to the home show this uh -huh. year um, also last week we uh, just started selling outdoor structures oh nice we teamed up with north mountain structures so now we uh, we're a, we truly are a full exterior landscape company. They say so outdoor structures. This kind, we, your name wait, kind of then garage, is deceiving right, then. Just lawn care. It's not right, just that, huh? Not just that anymore, yeah. right? So um, garages, buildings, chicken coops. Wow. Uh, dog kennels. Uh -huh. So, yes. Greenhouses. Greenhouses. Yep. Animal sheds. Now, you sheds. mentioned that you were here last year and yes. I returned. So do you did you all get a lot of business by being here? We did. We uh -huh. did get a lot of business here. Being here at the Roundhouse, um, just an amazing place to be to uh -huh. begin with. Uh, we were also 
number one um, in the long care through the best of the best with Martinsburg Journal last year and again this year. Congratulations. Thank you. That's awesome. Thank you. And we also won first place with power washing services again for this year too. So what a great we, service. We're bringing yeah. a lot this year, yeah. new things that we ventured into and uh -huh. um, old things that we're being recognized for uh -huh. with the community and that, that speaks volumes to us. Absolutely. And having used your services, and I'm not sure, I didn't know that you're going to be here until, in, until you showed up, <laughs> but let me tell you that what Matthias does is, is head and shoulders above what other companies, I won't name them, have, have done. And when you show up, yes. which is often a problem, when you show up, you show up with an army. I, it's, <laughs> it's like, it, wow. It, it will you know, grab the dog, and then <laughs> within a half hour, you know, we, we got some, a fair amount of land, and it's different. It, you got the wooded land, and then we got a lot of car area that has to be trimmed. Boom, like half hour, 45 minutes, you're done and cleaned yes. up and, and gone. So yep. you, you're really good at what you do. Thank you very much. Yeah, we try to work around your schedule and not disrupt anything, so we like to go in and get out. We have, we do, I think, have the best crews around. So, um, yeah, we're really excited about what 2023 is going to continue to bring for us. Now, are you primarily residential or do you also we do commercial? We, we do uh -huh. commercial as well. We, so we do have some... Uh, business. We also do snow removal, so we've yep. got a lot of snow removal for a local business, uh, Summit Community That Bay. wasn't a big business no. this year, was it? <laughs> oh, my gosh, right? No, salting was, but no, not snow removal itself. We kind of got robbed in the snow department this year a little in this bit. area, right? A lot of wind. The wind made up oh, for gosh. it, I think. Oh, yes. so. <laughs> yeah. So true, yeah. So in your booth, what are your giveaways? What do you have? What's... We have some pens. Um, we have some sock, the little pop sockets on the back oh, of your yeah. cell phone. Okay. Um, and we have four and five year old kids, so they they contributed like little uh, little containers with seeds in it. So you oh, can take nice. home a, uh, a green bean seed or a sunflower oh, seed. Oh, cool. Please. I have a so yeah, I'm coming by. I'm going to get those. <laughs> that's very cool. Yeah, yeah. So they contributed to put the seeds together uh -huh. in a little miracle grow to hand out as well. That's and a great idea. Yeah. 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 So and then we're also offering, we do have a, um, the A Economy Line shed that we're offering uh, oh, with wow. the Home Show special. But we have the prices listed at uh -huh. the booth. Well, so, how do people get in touch with you? Well, either by our website or by phone call or text uh, at 540-550-7327. And what is your Facebook or your um, uh, internet uh, the yeah, homepage? That, Thank you. That, yeah. that. It's <laughs> MatthiasLongCare.com. Um, you can also reach us on Facebook, also Matthias Long Care. And okay. We try to keep up with all of our latest um, ideas and pictures and yeah. projects that we're working on. So if you want to see some of their work and uh, the diversity of all their services, hop onto their Facebook page, their website, and check that out and see all they can do. It's Thank great you. to meet you, Erin, yes. and to learn about all that you provide. And good luck at the home show with oh, all of the, yes. the potential uh, clients that you're going to gain. Yes. Thank yeah. you so much. You're I appreciate welcome. it. Thank great you. Great to see you. Yeah. You too. We'll be right back. Thank you. <laughs> the Honda HRV, CRV, Pilot, Passport, and Ridgeline. They all have one thing in common. They never back off from a challenge. Available with all wheel drive, the Honda SUV lineup has the performance you can count on and the capability to amaze. It's no wonder Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com named Honda the 2022 best value brand. CMA's Honda of Winchester, 3985 Valley Pike. CMA, moving lives forward. Based on 2022 brand image awards from Kelly Blue Book, visit KBB.com for more information. Hi, this is Lauren from Orsini's right here in Martinsburg. Grilling is not just for the boys. We are a platinum Traeger dealer carrying the Pro Series all the way up to the Timberline Series. We have every flavor of wood pellets along with accessories, rubs, sauces, not just Traeger, we carry Utz, Meat Church, Lanes, and Dizzy Pig. We also carry a full line of Yeti products. Orsini's has everything to complete your backyard. Visit us at 360 Hack Wilson Way or at Orsini's.com. This is Melissa Nault, Regional Manager for City National Bank. We are bringing the heat to the home show with our sizzling hot financial solutions. Stop by our booth and fill up your cup with delicious coffee and let's talk about how we can perk up your personal finances. From savings accounts to personal and home equity loans, we've got the perfect blend of options to suit your needs. So come on down and let's caffeinate your financial future together with City National Bank. Cheerio for now. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. <laughs> yes. Wow, that was wordy. 
Hi, Cresha Hornby here. Larry DeMarco, broker of Modern Realty Results, believes he has some of the best real estate agents in the Eastern Panhandle. Agents at Modern Realty Results have years of experience and knowledge of the local real estate market. Agents within the office work as a team to provide quality customer service. We strive to always ensure client satisfaction through handling every transaction with honesty and integrity, all while offering competitive rates. Modern Realty Results is veteran owned and managed. Please call us at 262-4222, modernrealtyresults.com. In Martinsburg, West Virginia for the 26th Annual Home yes. Show. Mary Beth Blair and I, I'm John Gilstrap, and we are now joined by Larry DeMarco, and I got to say it, <laughs> Dean Ween wearing green. That's, that's how he was introduced. <laughs> that's to no me. joke. <laughs> It's almost like we're reading a Dr. Seuss book or I know, something, I know. right? <laughs> I do he not should be a character, <laughs> exactly. right? So, well, yeah. welcome, guys. Thank well, you. Kind of hard uh, on Dean this morning. <laughs> I know we are. We couldn't help it. It just we need a little laughter here this afternoon. We're sure. um, excited to have you back. I know you were on the show this morning, and so we um, we could see your m- huge three booth. How many booths do you, is it? Three? Actually, three it's spots? four. Uh, four. It's, okay. It's a double booth for Modern Realty. Then okay. we have our sister company. Modern renovations. Renovations. Yes. Are you seeing a lot of people today? Are you getting yeah, some leads? It's been a great turnout. Good. Yeah. And even with the weather we've had, so that's just an indicator that I feel like the longer the day goes on and the weather improves, and even tomorrow with the 60-degree weather and sunshine, right. we should be in good shape for I, I having a so. really good, maybe record home show here. So tell us what um, is going on at your, your booths and what you have to offer, if there's anything, any special advice you're giving. Why would someone want to stop by and talk to you guys today? You want to start it out? I didn't really hear. That's that's okay. (laughs) Yeah. um, So actually, this has been my 27th year, and I think I've done the home show for 25 years. Wow. Um, It's it's just a matter of networking. We we don't. I I don't think we really get new business. Yeah. As much as it it is keeping your name out there. there. Sure. It's it's a branding opportunity. Sure. and, And. just to see past clients and, and friends and family, things yeah, of that nature. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm yeah. sure, too, people maybe even, as you said, when you see clients, they say, come over and meet so-and-so, you know, and it's just, like you said, more of a, a networking opportunity. It and is. Yeah. Tell it, give, we'll let you throw a question over there to Dean since uh, he's. <laughs> Dean's having a hard time hearing yeah, what we're talking yeah. about. I, I'm, I'm we ran out of headphones. I'm not picking all <laughs> up. That's, that's okay, Dean. Um, could you could you explain to them what you see in the current market? Yeah, that's what's a great happening idea. right now. Great right question. Now, I mean, it's surprising. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, I've been busy. Uh, okay. The buyers are out there, uh, the sellers are out there, but we need more inventory. Okay. Uh, I'm just seeing that uh, it's still an aggressive market mm-hmm. for the buyers. Okay. Uh, and if you're a buyer, you need to find you need to get it pre-approved. You need to find yourself a good agent. Us <laughs> and exactly. uh, we need to be looking every day. Okay. It can't be something we do every other day. Mm-hmm. You've got to a- have to have an agent that's going to be looking for you. And uh, but the market's still good. Is I mean, it? don't be afraid to buy. Right. It's, and the the problem we're having is shortage of inventory. Okay. Um, even the, even though the interest rates have, have risen, it doesn't seem to really impact really what's what's happening in the market. Yeah. So what is the average time on market these days? Honestly, if you're below 300000 I mean, you can expect multiple offers within three days. Wow. That's yeah. just how it is. I, I agree with him. I yeah. mean, uh, and right now compared to last year even, uh-huh. you're getting a little more home for your money. Okay. You're paying more. In, your your interest is higher. Uh-huh. But that house you might have paid three sixty four dollars last year, you might be getting for three thirty this year. Okay. So, it's not as much of a bit anymore. Before, okay. it was just such a scary market for uh, the buyers to come into, especially new young buyers. Right. They didn't want to get in that bit anymore. Right. And now you don't have it as much. You, you stand a chance as a right. buyer of, of getting the house. Last year, I mean, I mean to tell you, there were, there would be 10 offers the first day. Oh, my gosh. You, you can still expect multiple offers, yeah. but not quite to the degree. How about on the high end? I, I get these emails from different sites about stuff that's for sale, real estate. Sure. I enjoy real estate. Yeah. <clears throat> I was shocked to see a house, uh, not new construction, in Jefferson County, the Crest Creek area, yeah. for $895,000. That's which, probably priced pretty well. <laughs> they, do they, is there a, a big appetite for the higher end market, or do they languish for a long time? No, no, there there is, and surprisingly enough, I don't know where the cash buyers are coming from yeah. in that price range, but they, they do are. exist. Right. Um, yeah, I, I would say all facets uh, are, are moving along very uh, very well. Um, 
pricing wise. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a surprised. I was helping my mother in law. What my family was last weekend with. She's relocating back to the area, and just the. I couldn't get over the difference. I always knew there was a difference between Jefferson and Berkeley County, but the same exact model of home in Jefferson County was forty to sixty thousand more sure. than than Berkeley County. I was really surprised that there's still such a great advantage to yeah. being just a few miles more up the road. Yeah, well, sure. you're 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 paying for location. Yeah. I mean, you're so much closer to the city. Sure. And for people who are commuting, yeah, has, they have impact fees uh-huh. a little bit higher. Uh, so they are. It is more expensive living. Well, Jackson. having just built, I will tell you, the impact fees are not insignificant. It, it, it will help us choose to buy in Berkeley yeah. County to build in Berkeley <laughs> County because that's right. that's real money. Now, the other company you said, yes, was Modern that's Construction, Renovation, Actually, it's renovations. Modern Renovation. So they specialize in roofing. Okay. Uh, roofing decks, windows, I believe. Mm-hmm. Yes. And how's that market right now? Just as good as the real yeah? estate market. Yes. Wow. Um, my son is half owner of that, and, okay. and we call it the sister company. Um, I manage the real estate side, and he does the renovations. So, okay. Yes. Yeah. Yep. So, is there a big flipping market around here? There is. Yes. I think everybody and their brothers into that. Well, if you watch HGTV, it's <laughs> what yeah, you want to yeah. do, right? Everybody's an expert. And you can get it all done in an hour. Sure. Yeah. yeah. And on budget. So <laughs> it's <laughs> right. Right. That, that's hilarious. Every time I watch that, I mean, uh, reality is not here. Yeah. 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 Right. I saw one of those the other day, <clears throat> excuse me, where they were, they had to dig out the foundation and put in drainage and all this, and it was going to run $15,000. What, what <laughs> world is that <laughs> only $15,000? That can get people in trouble. Right. Yeah. right. Yeah. So, so true. Exactly. Yeah. So true. Well, tell, we want to let the audience know, right, okay. if, mm-hmm. if they want to have you guys as their you know partner in selling or buying how what's the best way to get a hold of you is it your facebook your website call you well, all of the above pretty much all of the above uh-huh. i mean mo- the market's different now than it was okay. 20 years ago uh-huh. 20 years ago the buyers would come in and they were uneducated and okay. that's not meant to be mean and now everybody goes online oh yeah and everybody <laughs> knows what they want they're all they the experts right so, sure but the best thing to do First, you need to find an agent you feel comfortable with. Okay. And uh, we're good. Okay. If, if, and uh, if you need to find us, it's easy. Just Google yeah. yeah. Modern Realty Results. Okay. Uh, Dean and I both work there. We um, uh, we have 23 agents, but but wow. honestly, you can Google our name and, and you'll come up with the numbers and the website and all that. Okay. okay. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So 23 agents. That's a. Are you guys Actually, one of the bigger no, ones? No, no, no. We're we're one of the smallest. One of the smallest. smallest. Yeah, okay. Yeah. We we have. A, maybe a small group, but we're strong. Uh, we are. are I, I'm, I'm, I'm a very positive person, but yeah. uh, we have a group of realtors in our, our group that is just like a family, and we work well together. And that's a big thing that Larry's good at doing, bringing the right people in. And I'm not saying just because he's sitting here. We're, but we're, we're a small, small yeah. group. Um, okay. And we're very selective about who comes on. We look for integrity and hard sure. work and things of that nature. But yeah, um, most of us are very experienced. Dean grew up in the real estate family. His, his father was Don Wayne. They had Royal Builders. So, oh, yes. Um, he, okay. he brings a lot to the table, and I've done it 27 years. Uh, we have Charlotte Sherman, Vicki Clark, very right. experienced agents. Right, absolutely. And by the same token, we have newer agents. That, um, okay. You know, we, we mentor. So tell yeah. me, like, all of these developments that we have, do you, is that is it harder as a real estate agent agency working with you know, you kind of have a middleman now almost at all of these developments. Does That's that right. change things for you guys? Are you still seeing that people don't want to go directly? They want to come through If, if they're agent? smart, they'll get an agent to represent Because you know how yeah. to work those. Certainly. And, and, you know, no builder will discount the agent fee off uh-huh. the price. I've tried that before with my own daughter when she was buying through <laughs> a major builder. I uh-huh. went in there and I said, listen, I'd like to take my hat off. As a right. realtor, could you discount it? They just won't do it for various right. reasons. Right, sure. And it, it does make sense, but you really should have representation, somebody that's been through it. That's and neutral. That's not, I mean, That's right. Clearly. We, we know what to look for in a sales contract, or, or maybe we can give them advice on what they should be looking for. Right. <clears throat> We've bought and sold a number of houses over the last 40 years, and the difference between a, an okay real estate agent and a good real estate agent is inestimable just the amount of work that actually goes into when you finally deal with a uh, good accomplished ethical real estate agent 
just knows how to handle everything from the financing to the negotiations. And, and let's be honest, it's your house and you don't want to get into the nitty gritty with a buyer who says, yeah. well, I don't like the such and such, right? So I, I, my hat's off to you. I think yeah. that having a, a great real estate agent makes all the difference in the world. Yeah, and that, that's the big thing is, is you said ethical. <laughs> I mean, they teach us ethics. And ethics, you should have it before. You should know what ethics. Ethics are. comes from here. Yes, it, it, it yeah, doesn't come. And I agree with you, John. Yeah. You really, it's it's hard to teach ethics. Yeah. Either you have it or you don't. Right? Yeah. And, and you, and, yeah. You got to know what's right and wrong. And, and in my experience, not just with real estate agents, but anyone, within the first twenty minutes, you know whether or not they're going to be good to work with. So, t- what would you? What are the questions? How do we identify? I mean, we know we're going to come to you. We've already established that, but. If you were to explain to someone who's coming to your booth today, how would someone know like that that's the right person for them? Like, what what do you feel like establishes it, the right fit for someone? Can I jump in? Yeah, uh, quite honestly. I'm trying to think. We're uh, good. No, nobody wants a salesman. They, yeah. they want a friend. That's and, right. Um, and, and really, you can tell if the chemistry is there or not just right. by talking to somebody. Sure. You know, a lot of people think they're inter- interviewing for an agent, but a smart agent is also interviewing their I client. bet. Yeah. yeah so it's it's really a chemistry thing. Right. Well, I think I'm good at what I do. I can't say I'm the best for that client. For, yeah. Dean may be long and foster. It's it's hard to say. Well, right. and also, yeah. if, when, when it comes to the, the housing developments that are beginning to crop up out here, the one that the face you see that has all of the listings is not necessarily the right. agent that the buyer wants to go with. And, right. and you know, quantity doesn't equate to quality. Right. Right. Uh, so it's not who's, who's carrying the most listings. Uh, sometimes it's. it's like so we're going to have to go. What yeah. do you want people to know on the way out? Uh, my God, come see us. <laughs> come yeah, see them. We're, we're having a good time. This They're here until yeah. six today, ten yeah. to four tomorrow. Yep. So well, stop by and see these we'll be guys. Here all day. And, and List you, your house. If you can't see their booth, you got your eyes closed. Exactly. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you. Thanks Thank for you. coming yep. by. Thanks. We'll be right back. My kids, you know I want the best for you, don't you? We need to have a conversation. End-of-life planning is no one's favorite discussion, but the relief of having everything in place when the hour of need arrives is a gift. Give it to your family. Plan ahead with us. Brown Funeral Homes, a leading provider of cremations, invites you to explore the many flexible options of cremation. From environmental considerations to the benefit of greatly reduced cost, it may be the perfect answer for your family. Online at brownfuneralhomeswv.com. Brown Funeral Homes, here for you. You've been in an accident. Why won't the insurance company pay? Because they're trying to save money at your expense. Call Mansion Ferretti for your free consultation. We have the experience to deal with the insurance company and get you the compensation you deserve. Mansion Ferretti, when you need justice. We are excited to announce that Comparion Insurance Agency, a Liberty Mutual company, will be at the 26th annual home show on March 25th and 26th at the Martinsburg Roundhouse. Comparion Insurance agents and Martinsburg residents Glenn Mocker and Chad Williams have access to many insurance companies, allowing them to find the right coverage at the right price for you. From home and auto to life and pet insurance, they have you covered. Be sure to visit them at the show. If you can't make your way over to them, give them a call or send an email. They can't wait to meet you. Hello, this is Jason Johnson with Johnson Johnson Heating and Air Conditioning. Have you heard of our Comfort Club? It's our maintenance program designed to keep your heating and cooling system running all year long while saving you money. So join the J&J Experience with Johnson Johnson Heating and Air Conditioning, your Lennox premier dealer. And welcome to Comfort. Welcome to Comfort. Welcome back to the Home Show here at the Roundhouse, the 26th annual Martinsburg Home Show, which is packed. Yes. with people it's really packed with constant people. flow all day um just families all ages i mean you're seeing just people who are coming to just fill their bags up with goodies but i can see a lot of intent in some people's eyes that they're really truly coming here for ideas yeah. for their home uh maybe ideas for building one or making the one they have better i love to see the conversations that are you know just all over the place so it's not like people are just walking through they're stopping and engaging and And what's really nice about this home show i've I've recent transplant from other places (laughs) 
<clears throat> and, and some of their home shows are just enormous, right? But here in Berkeley County, it, everything always feels a bit more like family. Uh-huh. And it's nice to actually see sure. the people behind the the ads and the signs and such that, that you're true. seeing. So it's a great way just to kind of... A nice connection. To meet good people. Yeah. Speaking mm-hmm. of good people, we go. have Gail Moxley with CMB Bank with us. And she, most people in the community are going to know Gail. She's at every chamber function, every activity that I have ever attended. Um, just very active in our community. You're a mortgage originator there, correct? And Gail's um, bank, the CMB Bank is here and they're actually in the other building. And uh, tell us what you all are doing in your booth today. Tell us. Yeah, let's get you a little sure. closer so we can hear you. Is that good? <laughs> awesome. So, Pick yeah, we're up. really excited to be here at the home show again. I think this is probably the 25th or 30th one that we've um, been involved with. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so we are definitely talking to people about good. building houses. We also have some great CD rates, a little bit of everything for everybody. Yeah. Um, we're giving away a couple of... Um, charcuterie boards. I hope yes, I said that right. You did. Um, yeah, handmade by one of our employees. So um, beautiful things. Um, but yes, yeah, so a drawing. So you have to enter to uh-huh. win. We'll do those drawings probably first thing Monday morning. Okay. Um, we're also giving away little to everybody little um, seed packets that you can go out and oh, plant nice. your seeds. Yeah. And great day to do that on this rainy day. It is. So, the ground yes. is all ripe for that. Yeah. So that's a great idea. Yeah. So well, good. Yeah. John. So what are CDs going for these days? Um, so we do have a special right now. It's four and a quarter on the 18 month, I believe. But we also have some other options. Four and a quarter too. percent on a CD? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yes. That's different than it was a few it's years ago. It's <laughs> very much different. Yeah. So yes. Yes. So not only a growing season outdoors, but in your own That's bank right. account, it's time to exactly. grow some, some grow, extra money. Grow yeah. with us for sure. So yes. what is, how do make people make it? How do you recommend that people make the decision of what bank to use? You're moving into the area. Yeah. You're transferring your money from the old bank to the new bank. What do we look for in a bank? So you want to look for somebody who is definitely a local community bank who gives back. Like you said, you know, not only I am at all of the different things that go on, but a lot of our employees do that. We want to be part of the community. We want to give back. Um, So you want to, you know, go go with a bank that you can, of course, grow with. And CMB does have a lot to offer. We offer our mortgages, of course, Mm -hmm. all kinds of mortgages that you can buy, build, refinance. We have home equities. Um, Pretty much something for everyone. We have some great checking accounts that you don't get service charged on. We actually pay you Uh to bank with us. So check out that. That's called Casasa Checking. Casasa. Yeah, so it's fun. Tell us about your locations. A lot of people bank with a bank. If they know you're in the neighborhood yes. or nearby, they want that convenience and the, of the drive-throughs. And and tell yeah. us where you're located. Sure. So we have three offices in Berkeley County. We have uh, Martinsburg, which is over by Gabe's and Harbor Freight, uh-huh. um, on Apple Harvest Drive. That's where I'm currently located. We have an office in Spring Mills. Uh huh. We have an office in Hedgesville. Our main office is in Berkeley Springs, um, and that's where we originated almost 90 years ago. So we've been around for a while. Yeah. Um, and then we also have some offices in Hagerstown, um, Washington County, Maryland. So small group, but um, definitely here to serve all of your needs. Yeah. Have you gotten any pushback, any concerns from the stuff that's been happening the last couple of weeks in CV, SVB not, Bank? And, not and such a heavy? lot, but our bank president has um, sent out correspondence to all of our customers, just reassuring you yes. that we're not the same as those, you know, big banks that, you know, did maybe some riskier things uh-huh. than what a bank like CMB would do. You know, we're very um, forward thinking and we have a great board of directors that are also involved um, to making those right decisions and keeping everybody's yeah. money safe. Right. Yes. I know, it, I feel like in year, years past, decades ago, people would choose a bigger bank, um, a bank that had all the things that com- smaller banks didn't, you di- they didn't have the technology, mm-hmm. they didn't have you know, all of the locations or just the various things. And and it's so nice that now community banking really does offer everything that a big bank can. And you're not going to get that same local decision making. Like when someone comes to you for a loan, uh, talk talk about that loan making decision process for a business person who you're truly still looking at them 
you're not it's not just criteria that they have to meet you see them as a local business and you know them perhaps because right. you are local as well yes that's yeah. very true and yeah. definitely decisions are made here yeah so. um, for all of our loan products um and does we, that make the loans riskier though if you if you allow personality if if, if the decision is made by anything other than the balance sheet say mm-hmm. for you take the character of the individual yeah. in, in play. There are those who would argue, and I'm actually not one sure. of them, but there are those <laughs> who would argue that that makes it a riskier loan. Well, I don't think we're going to base it just on somebody's character. Right. Yes. So that, that plays into a part of it for sure, but right. the, the other there have to be other reasons as well, yes, to, to be able to make the loan. Right. One of the biggest changes that has happened in my life in terms of banking is I rarely go to the bank anymore. <laughs> I, I can make deposits with my mm-hmm. phone, yes. you know, the, the online stuff, you offer all of that. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, yes. And what is that the huge percentage of uh, individual banking mm-hmm. clients, uh, home, homeowners and such? Is that? Um, we still have people that want to come in and do face-to-face, yeah. yes. It's still a good mixture of people that... Absolutely. We have the option if you just want to do everything online and that's what you want to do from the comfort of your home or, you know, you're, you can't leave the office, whatever. We definitely have all of that for everyone. But we also like to see our people face yeah. to face. And we definitely have those people that like to come in every week, you know, yes. to make their deposit. But all options there for people. What I can't yeah. bring myself to do is then <laughs> throw away the check. I just took right. the picture of. Yeah. <laughs> I stick that in a drawer just in case it doesn't show I, up. I panicked. <laughs> the other day I was in my son's room who has now moved to Colorado, and I was going through cleaning up some things, and I saw, like, two checks, paychecks, and I'm like, oh, my gosh. You know, you're thinking – he never cashed those checks. Mm-hmm. And then I looked on the back side and I saw he had signed it. So I knew immediately. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> he took a picture. I mean, you know, yes. he signed it. I right. knew that, I knew what it was, but I don't do that because as a business owner, I still like to take, and I think there's a, a, a I don't know, at least at my bank, I'm pretty sure for some amounts you need to still make the deposit. Right. So, yes. uh, but I love going to my bank. I enjoy going and seeing, I go to a specific location because yes. I like to see certain people at the drive through room and they're not, I know their hours they work. Uh-huh. And I, I like that relationship yeah. banking. And I feel like with a community bank, that is really what you get. And I, I really appreciate your in, uh, CMB and your personal commitment to the community. You guys are involved, like you said, in everything and you support things and our community, th- as you mentioned, it's a smaller community. We can't exist without mm-hmm. companies like yours who support things, mm-hmm. invest not only people, but They finances. care about the community. Yeah. Thank and you. Um, are part of the community. Yeah. So we have many banks, but I, I love our community banks. All of you work so hard and together, really, to oh make our community the best place. And I think a lot of it, when it comes down to it, is a location or, you know, there's that one reason that's not necessarily that you both banks offer the same thing, mm-hmm. but it just might be that one convenience factor or somebody knows somebody. You know how that goes. Absolutely. But we're so grateful to have you with us today and you guys being a part of the home show and, and being a staple here. What do you think about this location? Are you guys, and I know you're probably a little out there in that room. Is it, is it, how, how's the warmth out there? Are you, is it getting better today? It's a little better today yeah. than it was last year from what I hear. Yeah. So yeah, so definitely come on down. Yeah. Um, tomorrow's even going to be nicer. It so. is. Um, lots of exciting exhibits. I actually did a quick run through uh-huh. um, after my shift, and I'm going to go back around. But so many people to see, so many things to to talk to people about. Right. And, and definitely yes. make sure you go to their booth, CMB's booth, and register to win the, the charcuterie board. I yes. saw it on their Facebook page. You can mm-hmm. see a picture of it there. It has a uh, the state of West Virginia engraved on it. Beautiful. And you said an employee actually made yes. those. Someone yes. on staff. Yes. Yeah. So we're going to do a drawing for three of those. So you have so nice. You have more of a chance to win one. Yeah. So yeah. I'm going to stop by. Please do. <laughs> Absolutely. So okay. Well, thank you so much for being thank with you. us, and um, we look forward to uh, the rest of the show and yep. seeing you guys as we make our way around later today. Sounds good. All right. Thanks thank for you, Gail. All right. Thank we'll be you. back. We'll be back. When will I be able to retire? How do I make the most of the money I have? How do I leave a lasting legacy to my loved ones? I'm Philip McCoy, financial advisor with the Marius Group, a private wealth advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services Incorporated. Call us today at 304-263-4343 to help you make the most of your financial future. Our office is located at 1270 Winchester Avenue, Martinsburg, West Virginia. Ameriprise Financial Services Incorporated, member FINRA and SIPC. 
If you're in an accident, the first thing that you have to do is call 911. You have to get medical care immediately. The next thing you need to do is call us. When you hire us at the Skinner Law Firm, what we do is we are gonna investigate your case, and we're gonna lay out the options that you have, all at no cost to you. We will use all of our resources and all of our experience to get you what you deserve. The Skinner Law Firm, skinnerfirm.com. Hey everyone, it's Laura Chandler, mortgage specialist from City National Bank. We're not just brewing up coffee and hot chocolate, we're also brewing up solutions for your financial needs. Come join us at the Roundhouse for the home show and let's perk up your finances together. Swing by our booth for a cup of joe and let's talk about how to caffeinate your financial future with City National Bank. Don't miss out on this chance to have a little fun and get serious about your finances at the same time. See you there. City National Bank, equal housing lender and member FDIC. Hi, Kresha Hornby here. Larry DeMarco, broker of Modern Realty Results, believes he has some of the best real estate agents in the Eastern Panhandle. Agents at Modern Realty Results have years of experience and knowledge of the local real estate market. Agents within the office work as a team to provide quality customer service. We strive to always ensure client satisfaction through handling every transaction with honesty and integrity, all while offering competitive rates. Modern Realty Results is veteran owned and managed. Please call us at 262-4222, modernrealtyresults.com. And we are back for our final segment here at the home show. Not the final. I, it yeah, can't be. I know. Two I know. hours goes been, so it's fast. Been too good. Right? Uh, what a what a wonderful place. What a wonderful time. So many people showed up, and our guest here, the mayor of Martinsburg. Kevin what do you think so Mills. far? Yeah, mayor. Well, I tell you, you know, as mayor, I think it's great uh, for the opportunity for the city to show off such a prime example of what this place could be, yeah. the Roundhouse. As the executive officer of the Home Builders Association, I, I can't be more uh, more pleased with the work that the volunteers have done to, to make this happen. You know, last year we saw a, a, a time on a Saturday that was a little brisk and windy. Today, yeah. you know, we started off a little scary with some rain, but the rain left us and, and the doors opened up. And, and we're, we've seen more people today come through these doors than we did last year. And last year we had over uh, almost 4,000 people for the weekend, and I, I think we almost hit 4,000 today. That's great. That's great. You I mean, must be absolutely thrilled with <laughs> what's happened here in Martinsburg over the last couple of years. As you know, I, I'm a, actually, you know, we first met my very first time at WNR. R and R. I was I was I was hawking a book, and you were the co-host. So it was. <laughs> Kind of interesting. And he took too. my co-host spot. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Look at there. Only wow. kidding. <laughs> you wait till I come at you for mayor. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it on. Yeah. No, but when we first came here, of course, it was on the tail end of COVID. And Martinsburg kind of looked like it was sort of shuttered. You know, there wasn't, to look at it, it just didn't look like there was a lot of activity. And, and then, of course, it started to bloom. And now, God, the Christmas parade was terrific, and St. Paddy's Day was terrific, and you get this kind of a turnout. And, you know, Main Street Martinsburg is, I think, a, a real winner. You must be thrilled. Well, you know what? I can't say enough about Robbie Blair. God bless his mother sitting here. But, uh, he has done an amazing job. Robbie belongs to you? Yes. <laughs> I didn't know yes, that. Yes, okay. Yes. Well, are you, and are you like, he, are I you, think he's more famous. <laughs> well, I, I don't know about that. Yeah. He, he's working his way there, that's for yes, sure. Yes, he's working But, I mean, hard. the job that he does with Raven to put on those events, yes. those events uh, have out, have grown and grown since day one, and I, I can't speak highly enough about what it does for the city of Martinsburg. I mean, mm -hmm. it, it, sh it sh shows our downtown area right. like no other. And I've had people come up to me from, from people, local people, from Berkeley County, Jefferson, saying, hey, you know what, we didn't come to Martinsburg because we thought this, we thought that, on a negative side, but look what you got here. Yeah. We're, we're going to be here more often. We're going to be walking down the streets. And, right. and I think that's important that we've changed that right. the perception of the city of Martinsburg, what it was five, six years ago where they used to call us Little Baltimore. And now you oh, know, yeah. we're, we, we're, we're more like Little Georgetown now. You come down here and you <laughs> well, can all And the, and the restaurants that are opening up are really good. Yes. And uh, mm -hmm. now there's a reason to come down right. to, to Martinsburg. And we, um, we actually stopped at the Community Cup, Rob and I, my husband, on the way down to get a coffee and um, a scone. And I hadn't gotten to go in there yet, but I always, every time I go into a store, if they don't know who I am, um, 
being that I'm Robbie's mom, I will just kind of, I always do the, you know, the secret Santa thing. And so I was like, so how was last weekend? Did you guys, how was business? Did you guys get as much traffic as was out on the street or how did that work out? And they're like, oh, they, they told me it was the best, best day thing. they had had since they opened and so many new faces and it got them such great exposure. So I know some people would say, well, you know, you're only promoting an event. You're not promoting what's, no. but that's the whole point is to get people like yeah. who wouldn't come downtown to come downtown. And then they're like, they see, oh, there's a coffee shop. There's this restaurant or the this clothing thing. store. It's an exposure to, and I give so much credit to those businesses. Yep. They know when there's an event, they market themselves. They give people reasons to come off the street and into their shop, yeah. and that's what it's all about. Yeah. What you don't know is that Robbie has gone to every business and said, this is my mom. <laughs> She's going to be coming by. So. No, but, you know, I, as someone who was born and raised in this community, like last weekend, it felt it really felt like a class reunion, a yeah. family reunion. Yeah. I, I even saw someone who I grew up with in the neighborhood in Meadowbrook. I hadn't seen her in years, and she looked at me, and I looked at her, and we did a double take, and we hugged, and we just caught up. And it that's what it felt like. It just felt so good to see so many people. I talked to some young people who said, you know, we used to go to Frederick and to Winchester yep. for events like this. Now we are so excited that it's happening here. And what I also love about it is, like, John, you were saying so many things have come, you know, kind of blossomed. I feel like, I mean, I'm seeing people having a good time, but also very respectful of their community. It just felt in the police presence, uh, everybody who's on the public, public works uh, de department, everyone's working together and they're there and they have a presence and you feel safe and it's great. And then an event like this, this yeah. is just on yeah. the heels of it. It's yeah, like, you're, you're right. I mean, this the whole town comes together it's like a homecoming yeah. you know it, it, everybody even with those events and this event the whole everybody yeah. prospers from it now you're going to see sure. just from this event alone every parking lot i went by around lunchtime and every parking lot in the city in a four block radius Full? there wasn't a place wow there was not a place to be had you yeah know, we're lucky we had the trolley EPTA yes. to go around and pick, and pick up, up people, people to bring people down the parking lot here was was full full of people we had to direct people to other parking lots to mm -hmm. be able to get them here and, and and again i can't speak highly enough of the people that put these events on me as mayor uh you know we're here to support any way we can right we talk about public works they do a great job they we do. talk about the police department i saw some officers walking around today yeah checking out the booths and you know i can't ask for a better collaboration between public and private sector that we see in the city of Martinsburg. And, and you're right, the last couple of years we've been moving forward real quick, real fast. And I tell everybody, keep your eyes and your ears open. Martinsburg's going oh, forward. Yeah. And we're going real quick, real fast. And get on board because you don't want to miss this. You this, don't want to miss it. We, yeah. we went on a tour yesterday with Senator Manchin up to the Interwoven Mills. Where, and to see that project and what is happening up there to bring about 400 market value mm. apartments to, to fruition right it's just unbelievable and then you look around and you see other yeah. other things happening on that street the everything garage will just be a domino effect yeah, yeah it's so let's talk about those apartments who are who who are the targeted buyers for those those apartments? those tar they're not buyers they're it's renters okay okay so we would be targeting as, as i understand it the marketing they'll be targeting professional couples professional individuals professional couples with with small children uh there's one two two bedrooms and and, and there's a couple three bedroom apartments that they're going to have mm -hmm. there but they're going to be market value so your your one bedroom is going to be about fourteen hundred dollars a month so it's going to be individuals from the dc baltimore area it's very important that we keep and continue to move that mark train moving forward coming into the right. city is that a reliable up. thing is the mark train reliable for the next for the, for the foreseeable it's never future? reliable <laughs> well, i don't mean the timetable i mean the fact no, that it will it's continue not. to be financially here. financially we have a, a legislative body in the state that doesn't support it and we have a lot of people a lot of legislators here locally that don't support mm -hmm. that that mark train because of the financial thing all i ask anybody to do is give me seven years give the city of martinsburg seven years if in seven years you still feel that that mark train is not worth it, then you mm -hmm. know what? Go ahead with your plans. But give me seven years. Seven mm -hmm. years, and we'll make it happen. Do you have it? The seven years? No. Right now we have Mark. Uh -huh. <laughs> we don't, but at any time, that's something that can be pulled. No, I have not gotten that commitment. So if anybody's listening, you know, Mike yeah. Gormby, if you're listening, seven years, <laughs> give me seven years. Right, and, right. Yep. 
Well, just we were talking earlier with HD, and he was telling us about the expansion just of this facility. Mm -hmm. And so that's going to really help the the home show, the Home Builders Association, grow in the in the years to come. So you tell us about what you see in like in the years to come. Do you see a fully utilized building well, ever here? Yeah, and, that's and that that was always in our vision. You know, we plan we we uh, signed a five year lease with uh, the Roundhouse to be able to have a home for the home show. And we knew that we were going to come in here and we're going to have the struggles and everything that we have here from both built both buildings with lack of heat and lack of air. Right. So with the plans that they're doing for the, uh, the, the is it the Frog and Switch building, uh-huh. uh, you know, that's going to have air conditioning and heat. So, yeah, that's going to expand into there. We're, you know, we're, we're looking at 120 booths here today and, and a, another 145. 50, 145. Yeah. Well, I stand corrected. <laughs> it's a better number. Well, that's maybe a, 120 a inside and with the outside okay, 140. But they, uh, Jennifer did say it was close to 147 I, or yeah, something. Yeah, and I think that includes the tables okay, and everything. that's so, right. That's right. So, you know, when we expand that, when mm-hmm. we were elsewhere, you know, we we have, we were a bigger we were a bigger uh, home show elsewhere because of the space. But we'll be able to grow and grow and grow. And if they get the yeah. okay to go the upstairs, there'll be an elevator. So, there's you know, the possibilities are... Are endless. Yeah. But we, you know, the groundhouse needs to have some work done. Uh, we need to, you know, have the entities around it, the city, the county, the state, the feds, to be able to come in and help and get this up to, you know, up yeah. to a, a point where what we're seeing here should be 200 days a year like this. Right. That's what should be happening. We should have this place full to at least a minimum of 200 days a year to be having events like this or anything else that we can right. put together to bring people in the city of Martinsburg. And there's a marketing arm, I presume, that's reaching out to done shows, other home shows. The You can assume <laughs> that, but no, because <laughs> the, the Roundhouse is not uh, is, 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 is volunteer-run, right. and their funding isn't, isn't, uh, isn't the greatest. So the, I, I would imagine, I was saying that that plan is in place. Mm-hmm. They need to hire somebody to, to be able to, to take that on and, and to hire somebody like that takes funding, and they, right. not, they don't have the funding for that right this moment. Well, and looking at the tomorrow for, for we're, well, what's, it's only we're about three o'clock here, getting closer to three o'clock hours. So another couple hours today, and I don't know if you got to see the uh, electrical show. Were you out there at two o'clock with First Energy or I, anything? I was there the when they set wire? up. I did not. Okay. Did you see it? I didn't know. We were we were in here, but I know tomorrow again it's yeah, scheduled two for two o'clock, and then. The, everything will still be up and going on from 10 to 4 tomorrow, and right? The, and the, the silent auction, you'll have, you yes. can do the silent auction up to, to 4 o'clock tomorrow. We have lots of great items out there okay. for great pricing. Feel free to come down and go in the back and, and start uh, bidding on those items. And, and then we'll be able to, you'll be able to carry your items home with you if you care to, if you want to stay after 4 o'clock after the bidding. That's great. So what's the next big thing? Next big thing. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, for, for the... Home Builders Association, we have our, our golf tournament coming up on June 21st. Uh, we have a sports shoot that will be coming up in September time frame. And we're also going to have a new event. It's a more of a Halloween-type uh, gathering oh, wow. in, in, in October. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm expecting some really great things from that because my wife is doing the is going to be is going to chair that. So. Is this like a haunted house tour kind of thing? And you know what? I can't let it out of the oh, okay, all right. yet. Uh, I don't want to. Dropping I don't wanna, a little teaser. I don't want to. Yeah. I don't want to speak for her, but I, I know that we, she did one a few years back for an organization at um, a B- a Boydville. Okay. And uh, boy, I'll tell you what, the whole the whole place was decorated. It was uh-huh. a haunted house type situation. So wow. I, I'm excited to see what she's got to put together. That's exciting. We'll be watching for that, right? Yeah, yeah. I love Halloween stuff. It's <laughs> it's always. Speaking of which, maybe you can't answer this. What is the story? It, I. I think it's King Street. No, it's, it's probably Winchester Avenue. You're talking Winchester Avenue with the, the permanent uh-huh. skeletons. And said, any idea what's going on there? Well, you know, uh, kudos to that individual because, you know what, uh, uh, no matter what time of year it is, she's yeah. got something that's, that, that meets up with the, the, you know, the Christmas time. Right. I don't know why she has those still out, but, you know, hey, you know what, uh, we're talking about it here, right? Yeah, I know. And, and it's not... It's not something that is just uh, like gaudy or anything like that. Right. That was well put together. I will together. tell you, it's something that when we have guests come in, we give them you a drive tour. By. I do drive yeah. by because yeah. it's just kind of cool well, looking. It's a talking point. Yeah, yeah. It, it really is. It's a mile marker. Kind of like the Roundhouse. There you right. How's that for a segue? Yeah, yeah. Like that? And you know, about that? I'll, I'll <laughs> say this with that, the new um, interwoven mill, you're starting to see already businesses yep. drawn to that with everything cheesecake now moving mm-hmm. into that neighborhood. And I just can't wait to see, like, when we're sitting here next year, 
you know, talking about what's happened since, and we're going to have a lot to share. You talk about that the, the, up there at the, the interwoven. It's not yeah. just the interwoven itself. You yeah. see what we did on Martin Street. You know, that's our streetscape moving forward. Mm -hmm. We have uh, worked a plan out with a monument that's doing uh, interwoven, and they're going to they're gonna do all new streetscape up there and, wow. and take care of our stormwater problems there for 61 acres. Wow. 61 acres. So that's going to, that whole neighborhood's going to benefit from all that. And then you're, you're starting to see now people uh, fixing up their homes because they're, they're starting to see that, that their home value is going to go up right. and that there's going to be opportunities for them down the road. Yeah, definitely. And I have noticed on Zillow, I'm always looking, just keeping my eyes open for old houses downtown that we might invest in, but a lot on the market now yep. and the prices are going up. People are watching what's they're going watching. on and they're, they're, they're changing things accordingly. So I think we're getting close to the I end of so. our time here for today. Now we'll be back tomorrow, 11 to 1 to kind of just tell you do the same thing tell everybody what's going on and give me let them meet some of the exhibitors we have so many amazing exhibitors for people to meet and um yeah anything else that we need to let the well yeah know? yeah make sure that we let everybody know you want you come down here hungry too because yes. we have some great food trucks out there well food trucks and a lot of swag yeah a lot of high calorie a lot, swag a lot of good food trucks down there we got yeah you know, we got mountaineer uh, mountaineer beef meat. out there meat out there we uh -huh. have uh, fed, fed up. up we have uh, almost heaven and we yes. have uh the new name, that's right. Thank you. Flatbreads is what he's going by. Yeah, that's, that. I know it's like a tongue twister. <laughs> something, I'm afraid something else is going to. Yes. Yeah, so with that, we're going to wrap it up, and the we're going to. Yes. Right? That's what we're Thank doing. Thank you okay. for joining us for this segment here at the Roundhouse. If you haven't been here, get down here today till six o'clock tomorrow, ten to four. Yep. Um, I'm Mary Beth Blair for John. John Gilstrap and have the a mayor of Martinsburg. Great day. Yeah. Well, have, have a great day. Thank you. Thank you so much. Here's to the grown-ups. Your car is now your office. Stage. Nursery. Shh. Sorry. Insuring it shouldn't be a headache. Erie, number one in the nation for highest satisfaction with the auto insurance purchase experience six years in a row. And with Erie, you get your own independent agent. Not a giant corporate call center or some online robot. You meet with a real person like this. Your local Erie agent in Martinsburg is Smallwood and Small Insurance. Get a quote at smallwoodandsmall.com. Erie Insurance. Mom, I hit your car with a softball. Did you throw it or hit it off the tee? Off the tee. Whoa, good hit, kid. Good thing we know Cody from Cody's Auto Body. I'll text him now. Oh, Kenna, I heard you hit your mom's window with a softball. Good hit. Keeps me in business. We can get you in lickety split. No sh Hey, that's a bad word. Shut up, kid. We won't drop the ball on your car. Every repair is a grand slam. Bring your car to Cody's Auto Body. As always, it's Cody's with a T for f trust. Hey, you can't say that. Mayhem is everywhere. I'm your new bangs, and you can't stop staring at me. That's it. Just tilt the rearview mirror over here. And while you're checking me out more times in a library book, your car is wandering into that lane over there. More bangs? <laughs> Neat. And if you've got cut rate insurance, you could be paying for this yourself. So get Allstate. Call Martinsburg Allstate agent Gary Kelly today at 304-263-4596. When you are looking for the perfect gift, look no further than L.A. Roberts Jewelers at 146 North Queen Street in downtown Martinsburg. Choose from a huge selection of unique items from the finest diamonds that make your eyes sparkle to exquisite timepieces, figurines, and collectibles. Buying from L.A. Roberts Jewelers means that you've made the decision to do business with people who've excelled in the industry for more than 100 years. They'll be here tomorrow when you need them, and if you need your jewelry or your watch repaired, they'll do that too. L.A. Roberts in downtown Martinsburg. Old World Jewelers for a new age.